13th, where we're continuing our Saviors of the Sword Coast series. We are steeped in the middle of battle. Um, when last we left our intrepid heroes, they were near the top of the House of Thalavar, where Gallio Elibro um, asked them for help um, bringing in and trapping a few um, extra planar creatures that he then might intend to use to um, defend Leylon and at the very least defend the tower against attackers to the city. So our heroes um, bought that line, hook, line, and sinker. They um, went to the fourth floor. They followed the ritual that Thalavar um, went through to shift everyone to the ethereal plane he calls the border ethereal and so the kind of room went ghostly and everything that used to be in the material plane went um kind of um transparent looking and they could then see the gray mists of the ethereal around them and so forth the beacon also was active and lively they could see it like a lighthouse in the room with the beacon spinning around in circles a uh, shining light throughout the room. Um, they went uh, and started to go up the staircase that appeared in the room. Once they had transferred over the ethereal side, the doorway that was there instead opened to like an archway and up a spiral staircase there went what's called the ethereal spire uh, that Gallio told them about. And he said up there is where... Um, the the monsters are primarily to be attracted because it's further into the ether than than um, the fourth floor here. So it goes higher up where, of course, it only exists in the ethereal plane. And so um, the heroes started to go up there and draw down monsters. But it turns out they didn't really need to lure them down from there. The monsters started showing up through the walls or what used to be the walls are now just the ethereal borders uh, around this room. And as they um, started to come in and attack, um, Gallio was heard to scream from the spire. He had turned himself invisible before because he didn't, he needed to be um, unattacked, unassailed by the, the ethereal monsters so that he could um, undo the spell at the end, etc. But as it turns out, he turned invisible and kind of went up the staircase into the ethereal spire and um, and somehow got himself into a lot of trouble up there. So as soon as he screamed, there was some kind of a backlash, a feedback from the spire up above and almost like a power outage, a, a, like an EMP. It took out the, the beacon as well as... Um, freed and woke up the two presently trapped monsters. It kind of woke them up and allowed them to escape their little cages that they were in. And so they've torn out of those. So now there are five of these star spawned manglers to, to cope with in this room and no beacon anymore to paralyze them. So we begin now with, um, we're on round four, and Zamara, at the top of the round, <clears throat> it's your turn to act. What would you like to do? All right. Well, um, all right. Answer choices, that. choices, huh? Yeah, which target to go after? Um, well, let's see. Uh, see if I can advance. So, um, I'm just going to bonus action, uh, disengage, and uh, then I'm going to move on over here, and uh, then I'm okay. going to uh, try seven, this particular critter, with my rapier. All right. Let's see now. Uh, let's see. All right. I'm going to target him. There we go. <clears throat> Thirteen hit. It does not. It does I did not. 
I guess I could fireball the whole room. Mm-hmm. That's one way to do it. <laughs> and I do at least have evasion, so if I make it, I'll be okay there. All right. Um, and that is that'll that'll be my turn. All right. Very good. So um, when you hit and turn at the bottom of the um, turn chart, it will pop over to Ozus. Ozus, it'll be your turn next. There you go. Ozus. So the right. guy, so the, 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 one, the one in front of me is dead, correct? Yes. You managed to, I think, kill it um, or maybe zipped it. I don't remember exactly who dropped it, but that was the one that you uh, had gone over and rang the bell and you've popped over back into the ether- to the, the physical realm. So now you're in the physical realm. That's one thing that's different about you, um, Ozis. You don't see much of what else is going on in this room except for the two that broke out of their um, cages and have turned, you know, menacingly to to look directly at you. Um, oh, they still, they don't see Ziff. They don't see Ziff. Well, Do they might. They 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 might, but they look like they're kind of honing in on you right now. So those are the two guys that look like they're coming after you. Do I see Ziff? Yes or no? No. 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 Oh, okay. If anything, he's extremely ghostly, right? He's, okay. It, so it's would be difficult for you to see him. So let's whack this this one guy in front of me with the scorching ray. All right, scorching ray it is. Although I think you're at disadvantage if it's a range attack, unless you have something that allows you to ignore that. What do you mean? No, no, not the dead one in front of him. The one that's in the cage over here. Ah, yeah, oh, the one, the one that just right. he just broke out of the cage. Ah, confused. Sorry. I don't think so. I think that misses by a few. Oh, again. And there goes oh. the other one. Be... Okay. Wow. There we go. There we go. All right, that's gonna hit. So you'll hit with one of your rays. That's good. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! For six points of damage. I mean, that's the average. Um. Yeah. I know. Do, do I see this unknown thing in front of me in the ground? Unknown thing in front of you in the ground, like the star spawn mangler. That's dead in front of you. No, I see this guy. No, oh yeah, okay. you can't. You can't see him. So the only ones you can see are this guy right here. What's this right, right here that that says unknown? That's a book. Uh, that's that's a book. A... Yeah, that's like a little. Hey, yeah, no attention not... to the book. Yeah, <laughs> but I can see this guy here, right? Here, let you me can just see the the non beholder ones. You can see this one and. Oh, the, the one other that... one got disappeared. Hold on. I did oh, wow. They're all disappearing. That's fine. No, nah, I just deleted them by accident. You can see the non beholder shaped ones. I was trying to delete the book and I still had the other one. Yeah, the non beholder. All right. Let's see what this looks like. Can I copy that one and can I paste it over there? Nope. Copied. It says I copied it. Oh, I have the wrong thing uh, selected. Show so everybody your, your broken tooth. Do, do, do. Huh? Your cat has broken tooth. Oh. Um, he broke off his last tooth. Oh, and I heard through the grapevine. Yeah, and there's, I mean, we're lucky. Now he's got no I'm, teeth? Yeah, he's got no teeth. Oh, but he'll man. gnaw my finger like at 2 o'clock in the morning. He loves to chew on my finger. Good thing he has no teeth then. All right. So I, I just uh, I copied another one in there. So you've got these two guys that are there um, that you can see, right? And and that and that may change. That may change. And I uh, so I can't see Zith or Ezra Correct. or Canaeus or no. Just the two that have this face on it. Now that uh, now okay, that got now that I have the matching. These yeah. two guys right here are the only two that you can see for now. So you could ring the bell that's behind you and see if that moves you back again. The, that would be a bonus action. I don't get it a bonus action. I would consider that like a um, 
an interaction, object interaction. like an object interaction, which is mostly <clears throat> free, like opening a door. Let's let's do let's simple. do that. Let's do let's uh, let's do the seventies thing and ring the bell. All right. So I would like to say you're saved by the bell, but unfortunately, you traded uh, two have gone somewhat ghostly on you, and three others appear in the in the room with you. But your companions are all there with you, so maybe that will help. Oh, okay. Now, can the other ones attack me? The one that I just attacked. Um. Well, we'll see. Oh, great. <laughs> That'll end my turn. Good, because it's one of their turns now. All right, so um, what you see is um, the one that is <clears throat> in the other realm, in the physical realm. He leaps at Canaeus, and he um, becomes very physical to Canaeus very quickly. So he just he comes out of nowhere, Canaeus, like out of the mist and appears next to you to attack. And he is he is going to use his flurry of claws. And so I, I regret to inform you he is going to attack six times. Yep, I know how that works. Yeah. This is the the kind of attack that shredded your friend to smithereens. There's uh, one attack. That's a 20. I think that hits. That hits. So that is going to do 15 points of damage. So I have the, the hill run up, so... Okay. That's so that's one attack. That's six points of damage, then. No, that's seven. Almost yes, seven. Out. Right. Yep. I realized I don't know my camera on. All right. Let's turn that off. So it goes away. All right. So that's one attack. Here's your second attack. Mm. This comes out of nowhere to maul you. That's another 20. So that's going to be another bunch of damage. All right, so that's 12 more points of damage, so you'll take six from that. Third attack. Again, before you attack a third time, yeah. am I able to use my, uh, my get to the metallic dragon yet? Or have I not gotten that yet? Um, you, you can certainly have gotten that because you leveled up already, right? I know we wanted to do yeah. some story stuff to it, um, but then you guys charged off into this and, and we figured we'd retcon some of that. So you can use it. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to use my reaction to get to the, to get to the metallic dragon on myself. Okay. So that increases me to, let's see, 23. Okay. So that attack misses. The fourth attack misses. The fifth attack also misses. All right, so he comes slashing at you, and there's tentacles involved and claws and all kinds of weird stuff, and he just comes at you with like a friggin' um, emulsifier. And unfortunately for him, he doesn't really emulsify you very much. So, yeah. So, I think what everyone else sees is like, you know, you guys see you get the two big attacks. Obviously, you see a flash of my hill rune taking some of the damage each time. But then you, you see me like panicking because, you know, I know how much, you know, this stuff hurts. I just got almost, I got a lot of damage taken just a moment ago. Denier, I don't know, just he's panicking. So suddenly these two gold, these wings made of letters appear, and you know they they come and and wrap around his front to to guard him from the last three strikes. Mm. I think it'd be good if they were still sort of like paper feathers, 
but there'll be yeah. feather shape, maybe feather shaped or, or otherwise, you know, and it just whoosh, 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 and just yeah. goes around you, and yeah, that's cool. And it's like yeah, a piece of paper made of you know, made of light, just you know, guarding me. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's new. <clears throat> what happened? Yeah. All right, Zith. Hello. Uh, what are you going to do? Uh, I see you. You moved. Over I, by the... Yeah, I'm on my screens, I have not moved. That's, that's oh. weird. Okay. <laughs> um, on my screen, I have not, I have not moved. Um, I take it that the one right behind me is the one that definitely attacked me and got and got me. But the other one is faded, right? This guy yes. is faded and yes. not. Yeah, yeah. Yes, All he right. is. So did you use your bonus action to disengage? Of course I did. I just make it. Jim. I didn't hear you. Didn't hear Come you. Come on, Jim. So um, <clears throat> I was ready to do an attack. I know what you were ready to do because you're a bad, bad person. I am a bad ah. person. Um. <laughs> so I'm Zith is gonna not you know this thing came out of no nowhere from his back and just like really took a took took a chunk out of your neighborhood squishy wizard um and he did not like that <clears throat> so um this battle seems like it's gonna be a while um Zith is going to maybe do something that some people may consider cowardly um but he is going to uh he is going to cast a little bit of defense on himself um he's gonna cast a little bit of defense on himself because it's gonna take a while he thinks <clears throat> and he is going to mirror image uh Hmm. I don't know if you guys have had the same thing, but the the HUD display button. Refresh. Why don't you okay. refresh your screen? You'll do mirror okay. image. Yeah. Nope. So I'll be no doing problem. mirror image, and and I don't know, Jim, if you want to, like, if I can wreck on this or or not. But when I leveled up, I picked up Magic Stone as a cantrip, um, and I would have, of course, gathered some stones and done my thing um, previous to coming in uh, to the tower if you don't want to allow that that's totally fine um i get that because i didn't actually say say it but if you would allow it um <clears throat> zith would spread his hands out and all of a sudden there's four ziths you've lost track of who's who um and i would try and fling a stone which nobody's ever seen me do so they're probably like what the what you know why are you trifling with this nothing um but that's up to you if you would allow me to do that because I didn't actually say like I'm gonna take these stones I'm gonna cast uh, magic stone and before we go up and meet with okay. Thal Alabar. but I would mm -hmm. I would would have so if you would allow it I would take a shot okay. at somebody if you wouldn't um, okay so you're gonna would... pitch a rock at somebody yeah 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 I'm de and it's definitely gonna be this guy who uh, came after me okay um. I'm going to where are you new new spell uh magic stone him um attack yep probably hits yep got a little bit on him but I'm oh, better than I thought all right I'm at, I'm at a max roll for my little stone um <clears throat> And uh, we're in the ethereal plane, so there's no sense of cover, right? Like, there, like the 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 um, beacon would not provide cover even in its unactivated state, right? Right. Yeah. So um, I would go as far back as I could, um, probably to here. Is there any other? There's no further I can go. Right. That is a wall. Um, it, it is an if. It's like to you, it's not substantial, but there is Got thick it. mist outside there, and you don't yeah, know yeah. if you would have what a place to stand, right? Yep. Yep. So that is um, what I will do. Uh, I got four of me. 
Um, I did a little damage, and that's my turn. All right, cool. All right, so um, this spawn here, let's see, I believe. <clears throat> um, let's see if it can, it can flurry. So it's going to, uh, I believe it's going to flurry against uh, Zamara that tried to attack it. So it's going to do that instead. So it's going to do that. Da, 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 da. Make six claw attacks. Six is, bru is brutal. Yeah, Let's see is. first. Brutal. It's supposed to roll. It didn't roll. So let me roll. Hold on. It's sunny outside, too. Yeah, okay. All right. So it, um, for some <laughs> reason... It was supposed to automatically roll a d6 to activate, and uh, so I rolled and it activates. So it is going to make six attacks on you, Zamara. And right. so first attack. AC is 18. All right, that's a 19. So that's going to do some damage. I'll just do... Let's see, I'll do... Uh, my... Uh, uncanny dodge. I'll uncanny dodge to half the damage. All right, so you'll take only ten. All Alrighty. right, the next <laughs> attack. Next attack is coming, and so that's one. This is two. This one is an eighteen, but you said your AC is what? It is eighteen, so that was. All right, hit. so that is going to hit you just barely. Oh, that's a fifteen points of damage. Okay, that was two attacks. This is the third attack. Uh, that's a 14, so that misses. Fourth attack misses. Oh, it's not adding in the right. That's funny. It's not adding it in right. <clears throat> I can see the roll, and I can see the total result, which is only plus two, but it should be a total of plus eight, or plus seven. So it's missing by, it should have plus five more to hit. So it's missing altogether. What if I roll that? Does that roll? That was weird. Just roll plus seven. All right. So, um... We'll have to, okay. We'll say those are just bad hits. I'll nail you later. All right, so that last one is a hit, and that is um, um, with another 18. Well, actually, uh, 23. So we'll roll damage on that one. And note to self. So that's 15 more points of damage. All right, that bloodies me. All right, let's bloody star spawn all right um the beacon is off so we're gonna move to the next mangler um and it is right here so it is going to um attack Canaeus. and let's see if doesn't roll I already cast that, by the way, Zith, and it didn't just, it didn't use the funny attack. Oh, it didn't do the thing. Yeah. Got it. Uh, so it's just make sure it didn't use an extra charge, because I cast No, I, I clicked it off, because I, didn't, I right. already cast it. All right, let's see if uh, first off this attack charges. Nope, it doesn't. So it's just going to use a regular claw attack with advantage, Canaeus. That's a 23. That hits. Yeah, my wings only last for one, one turn. So. All right, so that's 18 points of damage. Nine. So glad I have the hill around. Yeah, so you can take half that. All right, um, not last and certainly not least. Oh that guy back in the turn chart. 
<clears throat> and then he disappeared. <clears throat> All right, so this guy, not last, not least, he runs up and attacks Ozus. So Ozus, he's 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 in the ethereal plane, and he could attack Ozus. Uh, Aza switched back to the ethereal plane. Oh, he rang he rang that bell. Yep. And I can use my shield of staff if he hits. Sure. Staff. Yeah. 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 So let me roll bell. a d6 and see if um does that roll? Oh, it does roll. Okay. All right. So he's just gonna get you with a regular claw attack. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's going to roll. Uh, it's a fourteen. That's not enough to hit. No. All right. So that ends his turn. So he only has one claw attack? Oh. Yeah, he didn't get to do six. Yeah, okay. He didn't recharge. Because he used that on he used that on the okay. wizard. All right, Chaos. Hey. You're you're hey, hey, hey. kind of surrounded. What do you want to do? Okay. I need to check one thing for can I ask, can like you explode? You are in a great place to just explode, except no, for I Ezra. Can something, I can do something almost as good. So I'm going to use my. I'm going to turn the. Um, okay, so object around him. I'm going to sheath my sword. My moon touch. My moon touch long sword. Then as an action, I'm going to. Use, to turn my Calamos longsword into the short sword and dagger form. Okay. And then I'm going to action surge. Action surge! Zith eating popcorn. Very excited about this. So, I'm going to make a flourish. Which I... So the count. So they need to each make a, a DC sixteen Dex save. <clears throat> okay. And then I'll, I'm gonna roll damage. Fizzle oh. sticks. Okay, first one makes it. Second one misses, and the last one makes it. So this one that uh, this one in the middle here is the one that missed. It. So he has disadvantage on all attack until my next turn. Hmm. Wait, what? What did you say? Uh, so this flourish has. To, I'm, I attack with one. I swing with my. So my, I now have a short sword and dagger in my hand. And so when I flourish, I take the dagger that's connected to the short sword by the chain and swing it around, cutting each and every one of them. And it, on the middle one, it fails. It doesn't get. It gets a deep gash and will. It now has disadvantage on all attacks until my next turn. We don't have advantage on it. It just has no, it, disadvantage. Yeah, right. it has disadvantage. Got it. Got it. Cool. Love it. And I'm Love it. I'm going to uh, fire rune the one in the middle. Okay. So it has a. It needs to make a DC uh, 15 strength save. Mm hmm. So. Mm hmm. Let me double check. Looks like it might have missed. It misses. Yeah, DC 15. And I'll take... Okay, so it's now bound. And it's going to take 2d6 fire damage. Restrain. <clears throat> and so, okay, so it took... The one in the middle took 19 damage. And the two on either end of me took 5 damage. All 
Right. And last but not least, because I still have a bonus action, actually. I'm going to make another... Use my bonus action to make a flirt. You know, another attack with my... Not another flirt, it's just a regular attack. On the one in the middle. Does it... I don't suppose an 11 hits, does it? Nope, it does not. Oh, oh well. That, and that ends my turn. All righty then. Ezra, finally. Last of the count. All right. Um, let's see here. I am going to cast uh, Mass Cure Wounds. Oh, I hit the wrong button. One moment. I just opened up a new tab. Um, let's see here. If you want to beat somebody up, Ezra, uh, don't be shy. Man. Oh, I know. I, don't, I, I'm. I will. I just want to make sure that we survive. Oh, um, wait till I change Kanaeus into a giant ape. It's gonna be great. Nice. Hey, do what you oh. got to. <laughs> Ooh! Whoa. Zip j just feels like, whoa! Oh, look at that! Graffiti! So awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't know that here. that's. Yeah. It looks like Satan Samlet. just cast cure. Yeah, right. Cure wounds. <laughs> um. Why did my Ouija board do that? That was dope. Um, so, okay, so that's 22 healing 22. for um, Ziff and uh, Zamara. Zanaeus, you should get 3d8, so... Um, he doesn't 20. have his dragon with him, so... Oh, okay, then you just get... On holiday. 22 then. Okay. Well, then you'll just get 22 as well. And then as a bonus action, uh, I'm going to cast my spiritual weapon. Uh, Why well, will it not let me place the spiritual weapon? Because automation is broke, but that's okay. Gotcha. So I was going to so... put the spiritual weapon um, diagonal to the left, bottom left of uh, Kanaeus. So in between okay. the uh, you guys on the left-hand side. Spiritual guess, weapon. Yeah. Then I was going to have it then mm. attack. Uh Do this guy, this guy at the bottom. Okay. That most certainly hits. Um, so, let's do damage. Okay, so six damage. And uh, I think they'll do it. So this right. is the guy that you hit right here? Yep, yeah, the bottom one. Yep. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay, uh, Zamara. Alright, Zamara is going to attack with her rapier. And see if she right. rolls better than rolls better this time around. Okay. Slash away. Ooh. Much better. There you go. All right, so should uh, sneak attack automatically calculate, or should I do I need to like activate it? Or you something? can tr you just it, it should work, but um, automation is kind of broke. So let's see what happens. Roll your damage. Right, cool. Okay, so I'll do the sneak attack damage. Let's do the uh... yeah, I'll do the major damage. Okay, twenty three damage total. Okay, is your rapier magic? It is. Indeed, in fact, it's plus one. Plus one, very good. Okay, I I thought it was. I just want to make sure. Okay. All right, you take it out, slice it, dice it, and it just nice. kind of fades. It kind of fades away. It becomes va dark vapors and kind of just. Shoo. 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 Shoo
Is there anywhere <laughs> where I can, uh, uh, is there any object or, uh, uh, or environmental thing where I can actually use the hide action behind? Um, there isn't much of anything here in the ether for you to, you could maybe try to hide behind something that's in the other plane and maybe hopefully it gives you some kind of cover, but there's no, no actual place to hide. Okay. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I think uh, that there is no place to hide. That uh, I will stay where I am, and I am, that is the end of my turn. All right, Ozis, you've got one right next to you, and um, one what five, ten, fifteen feet away. Yeah, these guys can take necrotic damage, right? No. Well, you have something you want to cast on them to see? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to inflict, inflict wounds on this guy. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. That was almost a 20. 10 again. But a 10 is not, is not going to do it. You, you miss. You reach out and... It seems to be kind of half in the shadows and half not. Like, like there are shadows there that it's hiding halfway in that you can't even see that they're shadows because they're just kind of, this is the ethereal plane. So it just kind of seems to almost fade in and out. Like, in, like it's in dim light to begin with. Now, if I push the button again, he can't attack me in the other plane, correct? You want to ring the bell and find out? Yeah. You know that whole chart that someone drew of like this on the Y axis is the F around and the X axis is the find out, right? <laughs> the more you F around, the more you're going to find out. That's right. Yeah, we're going to do the X, Y, Z today. That's right. Yeah, let's see what happens. All right, so you ring the bell, bong. Ding, 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 and yep, you pretty, you turn clearly. solid again. Everyone else kind of vanishes out of the room. Including the little creature in front of me? Yeah. Yeah, yep. okay. But the other guy, now the other one comes clear. He hasn't, yeah, he hasn't uh, moved yet, so he is, he's definitely, uh, he takes more notice of you. You see him kind of go, uh, he's like got saliva dripping out of his mouth as he kind of just moves slowly to look at you with things that he doesn't have eyes, but he's kind of looking over at you, yeah. All right. I keep rolling, you know, that can't be right. I keep rolling to 10. Well, Kanaeus, this guy um, that's right next to you, he is um, fairly well intent on um, attacking you again. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to see if he can activate his flurry. And that is a no, so we're going to do just a regular claw attack on you. Before and, that, uh, he, yeah. he needs to pay 2d6 fire damage. Oh, yeah. Or not okay. fire, radiant damage. Oh, dear. Can he attack so, when we'll he's restrained? How does that work? Yeah, he can uh, attack. He just can't move. Yeah. Got yeah, it. You just have disadvantage. So he's reaching out through your through his chains to try to attack you. And okay. so here but he, comes and in. he does have disadvantage on attacking you. Mm-hmm. So, so so you think. I mean I scribed his fate. Uh-huh. You did. You did. And then what he does next is pretty crazy. He actually um just fades fades out like he's gone um can you do that with the chain yeah because they're ethereal and he's not oh boy Wait, no, the, the so chains now are like, i thought they were like down him or something did he pass his, his strength save no uh, no he became physic he left the ethereal plane where the chains are and became physical. So he's no longer restrained. He literally just switched realities. I'm restrained? No. No. He's 
He's no longer restrained. He's no, longer no, he just comes. He he comes clambering around. You. He's kind of sideways, even though he's you know he kind of cl comes clambering out from around the um, the dark beacon and comes right at you, Ozus. He's very physical right now, looking looking like uh, he's coming coming for he's you, son. Dance, does he? he has no no intentions of dancing. No. Yeah, I just see the, the golden the golden flaming chains fall to the floor. And then kind of, Swing. and then kind of turn into little radiant embers, <laughs> and it goes up. Yep. Okay, that, is that possible? He just vanished. Yeah, he just disappeared. Yeah, and, little, and left the chains behind. Yeah, like he teleported. Yeah. I need to like teleporting, you know. Right. All right. Oh, he's not going to do anything. No, but this guy is. Okay. Because I got warding flare. Oh, good. Well, let's... Do you want um, to use it? Can I yield, use the staff right now, or is he too close? Uh, well, it's a reaction, so if he hits you, you can use the staff and boost your cast shield. Is that what you want to do? If, uh, if he hits you, yeah, let's do let's do that for right now. Okay, because he's he's gonna he's gonna hit you. He's gonna get six tries to hit you. Oh no! So. He is going to try to hit you, and he's going to do a pretty good job, probably. Uh, but the first one misses, and he had advantage on that one. So that sucks for, for, for me. It's great for you. But kind of sucks for you, because you didn't get to use your reaction just yet. Here comes another one. Um, that's also a miss. Oh, Mr. Heavy Armor guy, doing pretty good so far. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that's three attacks. There's four attacks. And that one hits. Okay. So there goes my shield. All right, in that case, it will miss and clang against your shield. So go ahead and, yep, using your staff of defense, you increase your increase your armor class, and it misses. Wow, Clang. good job. That was good. He did a lousy job attacking you. He's probably getting around that cage. Please uh, take out so, so, Jim, so, 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 Jim, Please. there's no sense, and we, we would know, I guess, that, like, there are no attacks that could come from this ethereal plane to the <laughs> physical plane, right? Your butthole show. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't we, know. We, we would know that it's it's probably futile to try and cross. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be a way out of this. Um, you're you're where you're at. Uh, the only way for you to move between the ethereal and the material plane is that to maybe ring that bell. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They apparently can do it at will. Yeah. Suckers. Okay, well, um, oh, point. if I go try and ring that bell, where would I end up being? Like right next to these guys, like right here? Well, the bell is where Ozus is standing. It's against the wall that he's next to. Got he's it. been standing there ringing it about every six seconds. <clears throat> so if I move there, ring that bell, there's a chance I will end up in his space or in a space right near You're going to... You're going to... Yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. Yeah, if you move that, yeah. yeah. You're... Well, here's yeah, an interesting. If he that doesn't, might, that might hurt. I have a question. <laughs> for you. I have a question. If he doesn't see that creature. He doesn't know it's there. It's he right No, that they bell. they look foggy, right? Like we. They look we can very look faint, transparent. Yeah. 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 Are we talking John Carpenter transparent or? Yeah, you're pretty close. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Like, like they have a fringe effect, right? Yeah. Like right. a predator, a predator effect. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's but not so do you. Well, well all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, just try and light this one up. Um, and try and light this one up right here, so we can all go help our buddy. Um, target this guy. And let's use this. <clears throat> Ray. 
that third level slot. Hmm, no, I'm not gonna do that. Fortune rate. All right, we're gonna cast this spell. Um, I'm gonna attack. The first one has advantage. Um, so 28. That, that hits. Yep. Um, so that one is uh, not critical. So why does your first one have advantage again? Because I'm not moving. I see. As the steadying feature. Um, I have to roll. You can times. use steady aim on spells. Mm, I believe so. Hold on. Uh, I thought so. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, same. Uh, as a bonus action, you can give yourself advantage on the next attack roll on the current turn. You could use this bonus action only if you haven't moved. That, that's all. As, a, as long as it's an attack roll. Hmm. Um, the other two will be normal. Mm, is 15 hit? It does. It does? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Maybe a meets it beats it situation. Another five. And then finally, one last ray right at his many, one of his eyes. Um, bam. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get nice a big one. roll here. Let's get a big roll. Come on. Yeah. 16, it looks like, for my, my friend there. Um, there's still four of me, and I give it the finger, and I end my turn. I give it four fingers. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, you fired off some of your stuff, and now uh, they're going to have some turns. Um, the first guy, he's going to, um, he vanishes. Ooh, vanishing. Oh, shit. We, we gotta help, we gotta help Ozis quick. And Ozis, you get the sense of something running across the floor. Uh-oh. And then, um, out of nowhere, it appears in front of Zith and attacks but i can't Me? see it yeah so it yeah it's gone again so like you saw it was a sense of something moving and then it reappeared next to zith or disappeared like you saw it moving over toward one side of the room because it became physical for a second and then it went back into the oh, ether we'll and then attacks uh, it really is and it is, it is like um, the prom king at the end of the date night. It is all hands. <laughs> Jam. Oh, is this a, a six roller? If it this is. is a six roll, roll roller, I would cast. I guess shield. Do I, do I get to wait until it hits, or can I just cast yeah. shield? Yeah, there's going to be a hit. Do you want to cast shield? Yes, for sure. Okay. Very good. Um, I guess I can cast it. Um, All right. So what's your AC? 19, 20, 24. Wow. Okay. So it's going to be whittling away at your, let's see what your, um, first off, we're going to have to see which of your mirror images is going to attack. Oh right, I forgot or about that. You. I should have cast shield. Mm -hmm. God damn it! God damn it! Okay. Um, uh, all right, I will. Uh, let's roll one d twenty. I totally forgot. I was ready for this, and I blew it. Uh, seven beats the first one, so it hits. If it hits, it hits a uh, mirage. Okay. Uh, yep. So the, it's gone. Their their ACs are ten 14. plus dex. Fourteen. Oh, yeah. Fourteen. Yep. All right, so it hits, uh, it hits, takes out one of your mirror images, and it's just peeling back the onion layers. What about the okay. next one? Uh, the next one is a uh, eight. So that's a uh, six, eight. six, twelve, something like that. Six, right? eight. 
12, yeah. I think. Eight There's an eight. Beats it beats All right. It. Takes out another one of your oh, my bu- mirror images. My buddies. All right. They're, they're phone like, like flies, my friend. Uh, yep. Another one. Yes. It has to be 11. Nope. It That's hits me. you. All right. So it shing across your um, invisible barrier. Your shield saves the day. And then another one. Roll again. Oh, another one. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it was the third attack. So. All right. So this 14 is going to take out a mirror image. I got none left. Right. It's only three. Okay. Uh, And so the last one then is you. And it goes and just sparks fly across your mirror image as its weird, uh, bizarre, thorny claws go scraping by. All right, you managed to foil all of its attacks. Nice. All right, that ends its turn. And it just, it, it kind of s- s- sees you there, and it's kind of fading in and out of the ether. You, you know right where it's at. It's not like turning invisible or anything. But you yeah. can sense that it's got some camouflage here in the ether as well. So yeah, I don't like this yeah, at all. But okay. Not good. All right, so Ozus, you now have three guys on you. This one here, he's going to. I don't see if he can. All right, he's going to see if he can flurry on you. Which one? Nope. Uh, this one right here. Okay. All right, he doesn't. So he's just going to take one claw attack at you. Oh, he's just a one claw attacker. Okay. Just a one claw. Just the claw. I barely uh, see him. Uh, no, he's he's physical. He he became physical. So, okay, so when I hit the two the switches, I saw that this guy. And yeah, this? they they're following you. It doesn't matter. They're they're, okay. they're yeah. So you have three physical guys around you. You're physical. It's okay. got three physical guys around you, and um, he rolls a twenty. Does that hit you? Yes, it does. All right. So just one one roll of damage. Here it comes. Okay. No shield here, or I already used it up. Um, you've already used it, so you actually have shield. Let me double check with twenty because it hasn't been your turn again, right? That's when the shield goes off. Right. So, so, with- so you still have it. So it misses you. You're good. It it um hits against your shield, so you're you are protected. All right, Canaeus, you and Ezra are left in the round. What do you want to do? So is the this and this thing are still in the ethereal plane, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. As are you. So you can go attack it. Yep. Yeah. Nothing there I can do go. to help Oz us. He's Sorry, kind of, put him, <clears throat> you're in a different dimension. It's hard to even see where he's at. It's very he's translucent. All right. So you get advantage on this too. Yeah. Attack and advantage. Nice. 26, not bad. 26 hits it. You still have the other one targeted, by the way, but it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Okay. And no worries. Normal damage. Uh, Yeah, just 10 points. Okay. Okay. Right. Attack number two. Mm-hmm. Oh, and before that, I forgot to add my D6 to the giant smite. Nice. All right. Which I'm glad nope. I added it on that one. Yep. <clears throat> All right, Number so that three. one misses. Yep. A 19 hits. Only three attacks. Psh. I know, it's like I'm a basic fighter. No, exactly. That's a nice roll. Nice. So, 16 more points. All right. Whacking on it pretty good. That's the end of my turn. All right. I am going to move. I'm going to move as well. And let's, uh, let's bonk this thing. So does he get advantage because no. he's surrounded? He's no. not flanking. Yeah. Got it. 
And it's only on the first attack you get advantage anyway. Got it. Uh, okay. Uh, you're going to hit it. All righty. <laughs> Not very hard, but that's okay. <laughs> Tink. That counts. <coughs> um, Ting. Now, I have a question. If I move my um, spiritual weapon, does that <clears throat> count as my bonus action? Yes. Okay. Then instead, I'm going to take you that five. You can still points. attack, right? You understand? But otherwise, you won't be able to. No, I know, I know that. Heal I just, or anything. I, it was, I'm debating whether or not to, to heal Zith for the five points mm -hmm. or to just move my. Nah, bonk it. Bonk it. Get him. Get him. All right. Yeah. Ordained All right, so I'm going to move my spiritual weapon if I still it would my allow me to move to go uh, just south of me. Um, yep. Okay. Bam. Now, I guess for me to actually use my spiritual weapon, do I have to cast it without using a spell slot? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you want it, or you can just roll a d20 plus whatever, and you know it's a d8 plus whatever. You can do that. Okay. Just Otherwise, that's fine. It, that yep. way, it does all the. Uh... That gives you the stuff for you. Yeah. Yep. So that it. hits. Yep. Okay. Okay. Six, okay. Points. Six points of damage. Something. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and that will end my turn. All right, Zamara, we're back at the top now in round six. What do you do? All right. Well, Zamara. She does best. She's going to do a loop action and, uh, right over here. And she's oh, boy. Attack. Yeah, I guess we're doing a game. Oh, boy. We are doing this. Let's go. All right. She's going to swing at it. And are you playing with the flanking rules at all, Jim? Yeah, yeah. So you'll get advantage on this attack. Oh, sweet. All getting it up on this thing. All right, so the twenty-one. That hits. Yep. Awesome. By the way, um, also, um, opportunity attacks can come uh, not when you leave their reach, but if you go past um, where they're at. So I'm assuming that you've used your bonus action to disengage, so that you could get on the other side of that thing without causing any um, harm to yourself. Absolutely. Um, I didn't think about that when you moved, but that's one of the rules that we use here is you, because we're using flanking, you can do a five foot step without drawing an attack of opportunity, or you have to disengage. But if you start to run past someone, they'll, you'll draw an opportunity attack, not because you're leaving their reach, but because you've gone past the 90 degree mark of their facing, so to speak, right? Yep. All right. All right. For another important, important note. Because I don't know yeah. if you've played with them before. That five foot step costs all of your movement. Okay. Yeah. There oh yeah. Three. Thank you. Three yep. five. That's, that's like a that's a fourth and edition. Four e. yep. And actually more four. E. Yeah. It's yeah. That's a four. E. Yeah. The shift. The shift. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So that's twenty three magical piercing damage. Twenty three. What the hell? Yeah. Sneak attack. Is it alive still? Nope. Hey, this is wow. That's your second kill. Oh. Well, that's what they say about rogues and barbarians. They tend to it's called kill stealing. Yes, yes, they are. Those two are like the classes that do it, and they do it rather well. All right. This isn't the first time Zamara's done that. You were ready to yep. land a killing blow, and Zamara jumped in there and killed it before you could. So. All right, and uh, she's gonna go from there, and she's done. It's her mo. It's the way she works. It's the way she rolls. Indeed. So All right. Ozus. Yeah, the only see. guy on the material plane with three creatures on the material plane. Run! Attack, or, then run! You're, going, you're kind of pinned. Guardians. You're sort of pinned against the wall here. Got these three guys pinning you, Ozus. What are you going to do? Put him in the blender. I could use spirit guardians on myself, correct? Yes, mm -hmm. you could. Sure. I think that would be the way to go because then it grabs everyone. They're immediately taking damage because they go. 
go next. It's so great. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll select myself. Let me do that. So, wait, so Jim, rewind a second. The The beacon went out when Tha when we heard Thalavar supposedly die. Is yep. that right? Like, Got yeah, it. he he um probably uh, blew the circuit. Got it. He was, all, he, he was always an asshole. He oh. set off the EMP. Yeah. We're following rule number two that we came in here with. Kill, be prepared to kill everything. <laughs> we came prepared. For oh, yeah. There you go. Do I roll damage? So cool. Or it's on the their turn, correct? Call forth. That's right. It's on their turn. It's on their turn. Unless they move into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on their turn. Then I have to. It'd be nice if they had like a bookmark here that you can keep coming back to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, and that'll end my turn. Is that three three d eight? That's three d eight, right? Yeah. Well, yes. I could have done it higher. But it's no, no, three. it's all good. Yeah, but it's three, three, three. And they're gonna yeah. make it be sixteen. Wow, look at that whole disco thing that's going on there. It's so dope. It's so cool. Yeah, it is. It really is. It's like wow. You're back to the earlier stuff. It's like yeah, I can hear the BG singing now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and to think, I didn't microdose tonight of all nights. Damn it. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> All right. So this guy um, failed his save. So he's going to take some damage. Here we go. Fuck the radiance out of him. 22. <laughs> nice. That's a good hit, dude. Nice. Got a little singed. All right. Yeah, he's uh, getting <laughs> buffeted around by these angelic spirits that are flying around you. Um, let's see if he can flurry on you. Nope. Ooh. So with that, he... Um, he skips out, and he's going to go over to... Um, Here in the ether, he's now in the ethereal plane, and he's going to attack Zith. Mm. Where is Zith? Oh, Zith hasn't moved yet. So then he will attack um, Zamara instead. Wait, what? Uh, you still have a down? shield. You still have a shield around you. I have not gone yet, yeah. Yeah, so you still have a shield, so I don't see a point. Instead... A little metagamey, a little metagamey, but okay, we'll, we'll like let it slide. Yeah, it's almost like there was some table talk going on. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, um, let's see how this goes. Oh, yep, that is a 24. So I think that's going to hit Zamara. And it's going to do, wow, almost max damage, 22 points right. of damage. Oh, I'm wow. going to use my uncanny dodge as my reaction. That's a good idea. So you'll take 11. It's annoying. Uncanny dodge is very annoying. All right, so we need to make a DC 16 save. And what is the saving throw? No, you don't have to do any of that. Not you. Uh, the, the, it's moving on to the next star spawn that um, is being um, whittled away at. So it saves. So um, I think half. You're going to take half damage. Did you roll that? Ozus? What? Uh, Let me roll it. Yeah, I'll roll it for you. 
I'll just hit the damage button. No, 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 no. Let me roll it. Let me, let me. No, 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 no. All right, you. He's all excited. It. You go ahead and roll it. Nine. <laughs> oh, see, I rolled a fifteen, so we're going with yours. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that guy was up. All right, so he's going to take nine points of damage, and then he's going to try to attack you. So um... now, wait a second. Before he does, this is a this is a concentration, uh... right? Yeah, yeah. So I can't use my cap or anything. I don't think your your stat. I mean, unless there's something I don't know about it, I don't think your staff precludes you from using it while concentrating. I don't think. Only another concentration spell. Yeah, oh, shield is a right. concentration. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can. So use that it. one misses, and then he vanishes into the ether. God damn it! Ugh. Wait, which probably for the best. We're talking about this one right here. That's to me that. Yep. That looks like one of the extras from the Dracula movie. Right. Okay. Now he's gone. Okay. Where'd he go? So. He's just gone, gone. Yeah. All right. Okay. Zith, you're up. Your shield uh, drops. You're up. What are you going to do? Hmm. Well. You have no more mirror on... images. Your shield is gone. I wasn't planning on that. I wasn't <laughs> planning on that. <laughs> I know Jim's Jim's dream is Jim's dreams are really uh, so um, congealing right right now, real solidifying. Okay, well you know I'm slippery, Jim. Uh, so uh, I'm going to bonus action disengage and go right over here and ring that bell and see what happens. Okay, I need I guess you it's to here. make a deck save. Deck save. Okay. Yeah, so a DC, let's say a DC 13 deck save. Deck save. Where are you? Deck save. Normal. Should do it. All right. Okay, so you are now in the physical plane. And I need you to now make a DC 16 deck save. What? A oh, wisdom what save. That? Sorry, wisdom. DC 16 wisdom save. Oh, okay. Not I don't know what this is all about. This is, I don't know what this is all about, but okay. Oh, I'll oh, be happy to tell you in just a second. Okay. Uh... Oz, just read the second paragraph of that spell out loud. You can designate any number of creatures you can see to be unaffected by an affected creature speed as hat. Oh. Oh, sucker. So I can't <laughs> see you. Couldn't. You can now. He appeared right next to you and then started getting attacked. Hang on so that now. was a failed save. So roll damage, Ozus, oh. as your spirit guardians lay into him. Funny, funny, funny. Well, it's not that funny. 12. I mean, we'll, we'll be able to drink about this and laugh later, but uh, you take 12, 12 points of damage. Yep, I'm going to do that. Yep, and then um, I think I still got some movement left, and I just realized what the hell happened. I look at Oz and I'm like, I came here to save you! Um, and <laughs> I would... I would... <laughs> <laughs> Nailed by these angelic spirits. <laughs> Wait, am I understanding this correctly? Because I couldn't see him? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Jim, yeah. Jim, Jim is using a skis rule. Uh, so I like, I like it. When Very you stunning. cast this, when yeah. you cast the spell, you may designate at that time any number of creatures that you can see to not be affected by your spell. Yeah, but I could you see. couldn't see anybody. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Seconds left. Well, at least I'll get to maybe torch this dude. Uh, let's see what happens. So are you jumping inside this broken cage, Ziff? I'm jumping on top of it. Oh, gotcha. Okay, good distinction. Important. 
And you're firebolting something. I am trying to. This guy right here. Bang. 18, right. suck it. That hits. Uh, damage. 12 for you, my good friend. Uh, and that was amazing. And I'm done. <laughs> Very, very sly re, re, like, 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 did you have that in your back pocket as soon as he cast it? Just waiting for it. Yeah. You were like, one of yeah. these idiots was, is going to go into the spirit guardians. Oh, man, it's about, like, I can't wait. To yeah. Jay, like, Zip you, did it, of course. You the didn't smart, disappoint. The smartest guy here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not anymore. We got Oz's now. Oh, right. yeah, Oz is with the TR of in intellect. That's what, like the era that's right. that I can turn around. I'm smart. All right, so we need to make a DC 16 save. Scrolling back further and further to get to that wisdom saving throw. All right, he passes his saving throw, so he'll take half damage. Ozis. Ugh. Here we go. Okay, buddy. I got to scroll all the way up. So this I was talking about roll the book. High. Or you just roll 3d8. Oh, because... It's. I want to. You know. He spent all this time yeah. creating this thing. Yeah, it's a spirit guardian anyway. So there. All right. So he takes his damage, and then I think he's going to lay into you pretty hard. So let's see if he can um, get that flurry going. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Here comes a flurry of claws. All right. Ozus, we got six attacks incoming. What? Does warding flare la last a whole turn or just one attack? No, it's just no. The staff is the. I didn't use. Oh, the staff. you can do shield, right? You can do shield. Yeah. I want that thing. Awesome. All right, there's a hit. Is it past twenty-five? I'm not telling you. I'm telling you, it's a hit. Are you gonna? Use your shield. Okay. There you go. All right. So um, it glances off of your new shield you've got. My new shield? Oh. Yeah, the one you yeah. just cast. Okay. I was thinking of a different type of shield. Another one glances off your shield. Mm. Well, it's only used in the same dimension. I could use those. It's very confusing. One, two, three. <laughs> Zith would be yelling at the, at the guys in the ethereal plane, not really getting that, like, they can't hear him, being like, don't come down here. I look at and, the Okay. Well, with an AC of 25, you're even when you got six incoming attacks, it's just really hard to hit you. So it doesn't hit you. But it, it, it's all over you, but it's just can't get to you through this invisible barrier that you have up. And then it disappears. Oh, not good. Incoming! Now I'll begin the same thing that bugged you last time was these little submarine maneuvers. Okay, Canaeus. Well, first things first. I'm a realist. I can worry about those things in a second after I attack this this dude. Oh, wait, I get advantage on this attack. I'm gonna roll again just to see if I. Okay. If I get a twenty. Nope. Oh well, worth a shot. All right. Well, you hit. Eight. Eight points. Yeah. Okay, and giant smite. That's eleven. Three more. Okay. All right. Next attack. Come on, 
dude. You deserve to be killed by me. I don't put a lot of work into you. <laughs> oh, come on. Nope. Not gonna do it. Attack. <clears throat> I really don't. What's in with all these twos? Well, at least you weren't getting the tens. Oh, wrong, wrong dice. Sorry. Yep. Roll your damage. You hit it. You're good. Oh no, I, I got. I did already hit it. I just did uh, attack instead of. Yep. Yep. All right. So eleven. This thing still alive. Yep. Okay. And then I am going to. Does it cost me anything to make him? An... Make an arcana check. Depends on what you're trying to. I mean, what is it you want to do? I wanted to take a quick moment to see. I know the the, the beacon's off, but but it's like just off in the. I kind of want to see if I can figure out if these things can go submarine through the beacon, pretty much. Oh, it's off. Yeah, definitely it's off. Okay, so nothing I can do about that then. Right. Matter of fact, let me let me fix that. And honestly, I will. I'll just scream to Zamora. Zamora, Zamora, Ezra, get ready. These things are about to pop up from the ground. The ground right. and the walls. Well, it could be a little healing goblin if you have a uh, uh, from uh, from your friend. If uh, you got any, if. If you got any, I'd appreciate. I leave that to the professionals at the moment. Thanks. Being an amateur like me. Ezra. All right, Ezra, you're right. right. I, I didn't hear what you said. I said I'll leave that to the professionals. She asked for healing. Oh, gotcha. Um. All right. I am gonna scoot you over here. Let's. Uh... This guy. What are you doing? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oz, it sounds like you're getting mauled. <laughs> well, no, he he saw the he saw the spinning oh. effects for for him. It's like that's for TV. Um, okay, so five damage. Oh, he dies. Great. Um, I don't want to kill one of these things. It, it's kill secure. That's what it's not. It's kill secure. It's kill secure. So, oh. Good. <laughs> um, let me see something real quick. And then as a bonus action, let's do some healing. Um, what do I want to do? So you're passing on that five healing points? Is that part of what you're doing? Uh, or are you going to do something else? You know what? I, I'm not going to waste the, the spell. I'm going to give uh, the five points of hearing to Zamara. Okay. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> um, and that. Uh, well, I still have some movement, so. Um. So if I move into the uh, where the spirit guardians are, but if I'm in the you really can't plane, see the I'm spirit not... guardians. Yeah, so I can't get hit when I'm in the zero plane. Correct. Right? Okay. So I have. I think this is all the movement I have left. So I'm just going to scoot you over here and I will uh, then end my turn. Okay. All right, Zamora. All right. Well, um... I think I'm going to uh, 
take my action and drink a potion. Just in case. Alright. Alright, this is my film break. Okay. Okay, and I'll back on up next to Cannon Mates, and that's going to be my turn. All right, Ozus, you're up. What are you going to do? Everyone's dead. Right? Just you and Zith, man. You and Zith. I don't see anything else. Aren't there any monsters? Uh-uh. Nothing? You sound Where's disappointed. That? Where's that book? What book? The one that was right here. Oh, that was... I deleted it. It was just a... a um, journal note. There's still that one star spawn that disappeared that was in front of me. Mm hmm. Do I see Ezra at all? Nope. Or... You shouldn't. I'm still in the plane. Well, I shouldn't or should? He's in the border not. ethereal. Okay. I'm going to move here then. Well, hang on a second. And I see Zip. Yep. All right. <clears throat> yep. You see Zip for sure. I disappeared. Now that I see him, he can't get hurt. I'm going to go to this door. Anything in the hallway? I feel like... No, there's just a staircase there. There's a staircase there. Okay, then I'll move back to where the... Right there. And then I'll end my turn. Because this thing is either went into the... Well, if it wasn't a plane... You know what? I'm gonna go back to there and hit. I'm gonna flip the switch. So five, ten, fifteen. Get ready, 20, Ezra. Twenty-five, thirty. That's thirty movement. Okay. Gosh dang it! Let's make a new one. This one. Move. Yeah. This one. Dang it! That would have been right. One, two, three, four. Go. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Um... I want to hold an action. Then I'm gonna hold and flick wounds in case this thing comes popping out of the wall. Okay. Yeah. So that... cross off that spell slot. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, go ahead and cast it, and you can use it if someone comes popping out at you. All righty. And that'll end my turn. Indeed it will. Indeed it will. All right. Where'd he go? All right, so um, <sighs> 
That's frustrating. You don't know the half. Uh, but but here's part of it. Well, he just disappeared in front of me. And we're not out of combat. <clears throat> All right, so this creature just comes out of nowhere doing uh, full, uh, you know, subtle attack moves and attacks uh, Zamara, who is the bloodiest of the group. Oh. It's looking it's looking for blood. Uh, More of it. Stupid wall moving creature. All right. So Zamara, the first one is going to be a hit. Uh. A hit to the metallic dragon. So Zamara adds four to your AC. Yeah. How many times can you do that? I can do that four times. All right. Right. Uh, twenty-two causes the best. All right. So that still hits. All right. So here it comes. But now you have a twenty-two. I will remember that. Fifteen points of damage. All right. I'll use my uncanny dodge to half it. So I'll take seven. All right. So between paper wings and your uncanny dodge, you manage to still. Um, not take full damage from that, so good for you. Here comes the next one. This is a normal swing. And this is a 21, so that misses. Ooh, thank you. Well, that paid off. Sure did, yeah. And this one, however, is a 24, so that hits. Yeah. Damage on this is not going to be fun. It, uh, oh, dang it, 21 points of damage. Ouch. Leaves me with seven hit points. And then, uh, so that's um, one, two, three attacks. So we've got three more. Oh, boy. I've done what I can. Good thing I got those diamonds, huh? <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Diamonds is a All demon's right. best friend. <laughs> You're ducking and dodging. It does another whole swing, a couple swings at you, and you duck around those. Um, and this last swing comes through, and you dodge it as well. So... Oh, wait, I, I don't have Revivify. I only have Gentle Repose. Ezra, this good. is going to be on. Good enough. I, I have a Revivify. I'm good. Yeah, we got enough diamonds to... All right, Zip, what are you going to do? All right, so I'm going to, not seeing anybody down here, I'm going to run back to the bell. All right, so, make a so. DC 16 Wisdom saving throw. But he sees me now. Uh, it's at the time the spell is cast. Oh, damn it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's true. It's true. Yeah, he, is, he is not. He is not wrong. Uh, DC 16 wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh, wait a second. I have inflict wounds, don't I? Yeah, you but. Do you want to inflict wounds on him, too? No, don't no. do that. Oh. No, I was just like <laughs> off the top of my head. How'd your oh. game go? Don't brutal. sneak up on okay. me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! All right, that misses, well, so I guess you're going to take 3d8 damage. I am. Oz, just roll it. Roll them. Darn those winged lizards that are prying right? around. No kidding. Oh, man, 19. Oh, good hit. Where was this earlier, Oz? I don't know. <laughs> wow. like rolling wow. tons and... So I ring the I'm bell. I'm happy about this. <laughs> I ring the bell and hopefully yep. go back up. Yep. I mean, really? What yep. do you have against the Sith? And now, so you are you are back in the border ethereal, and Oz is can, standing next to you. Yeah, I'm just right on top of it. Yeah, I'm. Um, mm -hmm. I could see this. I could see our our friend who just hit uh, the one 
monster left, right? Um, so looking around, not seeing any more, feeling a little plucky. Um, I'm going to hit it with uh, an upgraded um, Scorching Ray. Ah. An upgraded Scorching Ray for my friend here. So I think that's four rolls. That's how you want to play it. Uh, Scorching Ray upgraded. Um, unfortunately, uh, I guess. No, you're fine. You're fine. He can he can see it. You can see through the wall. Yeah. Okay. I was like, oh, wait, I, he's got I cover mean, behind the wall. But I can move. But, uh, if you, want but me you, to. but you can see through the wall. That's fine. I can move here. That's fine. It's I, it's I, it's I a physical move. wall. You're not physical. Um, uh, all right, attack. Normal. That's uh, oh, it was almost good. Um, that's one. Here's two. Here's three. Ooh, that right. misses. So two hits, so roll damage for hit number two. I, I get one more because I have cast it. Okay. Oh. Bang. There you go. All right, so two and four hit. Only two, only, oh, only two of them hit. Okay. Only two of them hit. Only two of them hit. I could have done this damage with a freaking cantrip. Um, I definitely could have done that damage with a cantrip. That's not awesome. Uh, Eleven from for my friend. Uh, yes, sir. Indeed, and, indeed. Yeah, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna get out of his way. Um, I probably have a little bit of movement left, so I'm gonna go over here. Um. And in my turn. All right. Sure, you don't want to ring the bell. Just, just asking, <laughs> for, asking for a friend. I can't. I can't go in the blender anymore. I've learned my lesson about uh, <laughs> my good friend Ozis. Uh, okay. So, um, yeah. The only time he cooks well is when I'm in the pot. Huh. <laughs> uh, my my cousin barbecue. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So this guy um, comes oh. right out of the darkness and um, does the whole attempt at the, the blade Cuisinart. And, yep. We're going to get a flurry of claws coming your oh, way. Is that sir. a me? Is that a me? That is. The guy right next to you that appeared right next to you. Six uh, attacks. Where are these coming from? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I think I got one left. All right, so your AC is? 24. All right, it hits. Oh. Uh, for 14 points of damage. That is not good, boys. Now we're aiming five more attacks at AC 24. Okay, that's a miss. That was attack number two. We're now on number three. More claws fly out of the darkness at you. Miss. From almost like it's behind you, more claws are coming out of it. He's like all over you. But... It also you you're ducking and dodging and doing everything you can to stay out of the way and it's um hitting your shield and so these sparks are flying and and last attack now i think that's the last one that is also a miss so the first one hit and then the Second one missed, third one missed, fourth one missed, fifth one missed. Oh, there's one more. You get six attacks. So here's the last one. Boo. Oh. I had to recount because I thought, did I did I really get six? Alright, last one. Oh! Ah I miss. But she just cuts right through your 
your shield a little bit, but the heel is right behind you. You know, almost claws are coming right close to your face. Ah, like this. Zith ha has a shield, <clears throat> but it's pretty, like, small for um, for this. He's just, like, trying to, like, move it around and get these claws. <laughs> uh, 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 um. Clearly, this guy does not know how to buy shields or barely knows how to use them. All right. And then in the dim light that is where you're at, it just kind of ducks out of the way. It kind of fades back into the darkness. Well, that makes my decision a little easier. So, let's get this started off. <clears throat> Samara, you're getting a little healing from me. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, darling. So you get... Uh, you get... Oh, yeah, here we go. Normal. Oh, wow. The full six. You get six points oh. of healing. Awesome. So suddenly, uh... like, you're, you're surrounded by a little storm. Your wounds are now surrounded by a little storm of letter. Of celestial letter. And you feel you're a little better. Not... You know, it's not a lot, but it's, a, it's something. It is a spell. Ah, it's been ah, it's been a few years since I felt that soothing touch. You still it's have a, it, darling. They're all letters. It's a spell. <laughs> you, this will be the first time you're seeing this. Oh, okay. Yeah, this wow, is that's a new trick. Thing. That's a new Jim. trick. Jim. Uh, yes, yeah. it is. Lots to, lots to change since we last met. Ah, comes see, with being a, yeah, comes with being a warlock. Apparently they're not all cra loads of crap. Wink, <laughs> wink. Okay. So that. Did you get that, Ziff? Everyone else missed it. <clears throat> no, I was yelling at my dog, whose whose name is also Jim. Oh. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you like how that was? You were healed by a whole bunch of letters. Because after all, it is a spell. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Which is actually not. I know. <sighs> well, that hits. Oh, okay, I guess they both hit. I pressed the wrong okay. button. These things. Giant Smite. So that's 23 damage. Okay. It seems angry that you heard it. Yeah. Come after me. Come on, buddy. Got your target right here. And that's the end of my turn. So this is where I shove you back into the material plane and you take damage from the... Oh. <laughs> you would have done it if you could. <laughs> I know, I'm just thinking that, man, next time I run these creatures, they're going to be able to move you in and out of the ethereal. That'll be awesome. All right, Ezra, what are you going to do? Who's, who's in the material and who's in the ethereal? I'm in the Everyone ethereal. is ethereal right now. Okay. Yep, even Oz's. Okay. Um, the spirit guardian is the only thing left in the material plane. Oh, good. Okay. So um, flying was just a waste of movement. Do I want to do healing or damage? Let's try damage. And do damage. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let's do some damage. Um, we are going to do. A guiding bolt. And this guy. Ugh. Nope, that misses. Um, okay. And then I am going to 
as a bonus action, um, move my spiritual weapon and attack that guy. I guess just uh, beneath him. Okay. That hits. Shoot. Bang. There we go. That's something. Yep. That is something. Um, and then I will also, I guess, I can, I can move this way. Move back this way. Um, and that will do it. Okay, Zamara. All right, and well, Zamara's going to move on over there for a little bit of flanking. Uh, she will disengage as a bonus action, and uh, then she'll try to bury her rapier in this uh, this monster. Okay, that is. Hey, Dad, what are you doing? Come here. All right. Wow, this is a terrible set of rules. Seventeen. Does that connect? Yep, seventeen hits. Also, all right. Features and sneak attack. Does that sneak attack damage? Yeah, we'll roll the regular attack damage. Oh, well, that's uh, 29 total magical piercing damage. Hmm. All right. Well, else? that still reminds me of old times. She winks on over a camp of man. Ah, old times. Yeah, back over in Neverwinter. We really need to get a drink after this. Yes, we yeah, do. I agree. Although, we should do it after we take the crap out of Galio. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was some pretty treacherous shit, if you ask me. All right, no, and I that's it. All right, Ozis, what are you going to do? Well, I don't know... I don't know what to do because these guys keep reappearing. Now, everyone's in the three-year-old plane. I can see everyone and they can see me, correct? Yeah. Okay. What is this thing in the middle of the room doing? That's the, the beacon. Whole... It's not doing anything. A lot of nothing. Wait a second. Will you stop it? That... It's dark. Okay, come here. That is a super expensive thing you just tried to break. <laughs> and I gotta take the cap. Come on, come on. Should we skip to Zith and come back to you? No. Okay. 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 So this whole thing, the whole time we've been fighting, that's just the beacon is it's just dark. Doing... Yep, it went black. It went black. Yeah, it's dark. It's not working. Kind of like the power went out. You guys felt the the wave of, I don't know, almost like a magical concussive explosion. It just went from upstairs somewhere, from above you. And as it hit the beacon, it just wiped it out. I'm just going to hold for where I am right now. I'm not going to hold any action because okay. that the one on, and yeah. Because as long as that that is going the shield. You could resummon your spirit guardians to the ethereal plane. No, we are. I don't are think the, he lost them. Yeah, I don't think he the, lost them. No, we're in the ethereal plane. Mm hmm. You are, but they're, Jim said you're, your spirit. Yeah, they're flying around in the in the material. Plane. But the spirit guardian is it in the is it in the plane too or no? It's not with you. Oh, then let me. Then I can't cancel it, right? No. You can sure. stop concentrating on it, and it will go away. Unless I flip that switch and go back to the material plane. Yeah, you ring the bell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll ring the bell and go back to the material plane. All right. Ozus vanishes again. Ah, Ozus. 
Then I'll end my turn. Okay. All right. Ziff. Oz just rings the bell and disappears. What do you do? Hmm. I check something here. Uh, I am a little beat up. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. Uh. Okay. Well. Um. I am going to. Oh. Well, I'm gonna do something probably ill advised. Um, I am going to. Don't come back to the material plane. I'm not going back in the in in the blend in the blender. No, Thanks. I could kill you. <laughs> uh, uh, Stop that. Um, I'm going to hold a uh, scorching ray, and uh, if I see any of those beasts, I'm going to unload on it. Um, I if I don't move, how how would you feel about my steady aim extending to my held action? Uh, no. Because no. that's not an attack action, that's a reaction. So I'm going to um I'm gonna move right here. I don't every time I get attacked I'm near a wall, Zip would um be suspecting that something about the wall is the thing. Probably not. I'm gonna hold my uh I'm gonna hold my uh scorching rate and that's it. Okay. All righty then. Actually, I'm going to hold if it's okay with you, Jim, I'm just going to hold a fire a fire bolt rather than that. Okay. All right, Ozis, roll 3D whatever you roll for your spirits. Get him. The 3D8. All right. But I don't see you. Yeah. <laughs> you do now. See. Oh, there we go. We got another tick. Yeah, pings. Ping, ping, ping. ping. All right. He comes out of the darkness, appearing physically among your spirit guardians, ducking and dodging between them, and getting hit only a couple of times, and he tries to take a swipe at you and misses. Um, and oh, that's it. All right, so ends his turn. Kanaeus, your turn. Honestly, not much I can do. Can't, don't really feel like going to the blender, so. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll have to end that when the. Leave it I'm up, Brian. And let's see. I have a new spell I want to try. Yeah. So, Zamar, if you don't mind, may I? You know, I, I hold it my hand for your arm for a second. Sure. What you got for me, sugar? I'm concentrating on this new feeling of power. And as I do that, I cast Cure Wounds. And at the same, the next, I'm going to cast Scanning Light. Awesome. Yeah, nowhere good as Ezra at any of this stuff, but <laughs> hey, eight points of healing is not not too shabby for someone who, you know, just for a know fighter. Him. Yeah, and on someone who's not him either. Well, you'll have to tell me how you learned all this spellcasting. Long story. 
Like I said, we'll talk over drinks. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's take a look here. Is it to be yelling? You're like, Asher, you got you got anything? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we never really checked on Galio, but I think before I do that, I'm going to um oh, interesting. do some right. healing. Um for uh Zith and Samira. Uh, I'm going to use my um, channel divinity. Oh, hello. Serve life. Hello. Um, so I could do I think it's 55 healing, uh, but I can only get you guys up to half. So whatever you guys need, uh, Zith and Zymera, to get you guys up to half health. Um, yep. 35, yeah. that is... The, yeah, uh, 15. 15. Yeah. Um, and then I am going to say I'm going to try and figure out what happened to uh, Galio. I guess I'll start walking up that corridor. <laughs> that Make book. sure he's a. Remember two things. One, remember rule number two. Be prepared to kill, kill everything. everything. Yeah. Including Galio. Make sure he's alive so we can beat the crap out of him. Okay. Um, sorry. Is there anything I have to do to get through this little door here? Or is that a, yeah, a good thing? You have to click your heels and say, there's no place like home. Yeah. There's there no place pl like home. There's no place like yeah. home. Indeed. There's no place <laughs> like Waffle House. <laughs> oh, there is no place like Waffle House. Not in a good way, though. <laughs> Hey, I like Waffle House. They even actually scattered. I taught, I taught scattered them how to make coffee there. <laughs> uh, Waffle House. There's one near my house. Nice. Where'd you go? Oh, you're there. I see. Yeah. All right. So you climb up the tower into the area that is glowing red because uh -huh. of this hand, this palm sized gem that is um, sitting there in the mouth of a serpent pedestal. So the head of the serpent is open and the gem is sitting inside like where it's tongue between its fangs. And Gallio is laying on the ground unconscious, but one of his hands is stretched out like he fell in place while trying to reach out and grab the gem. Okay. Um, what could go wrong? Yeah, exactly. I say go I for it. <laughs> do here. What to pick it up? I don't know. Sounds fun. Yeah, Let Jim have some fun. Out. Don't listen to the wizards. <laughs> um I guess I would um I guess I probably want to just like check on Galio first. Um I don't necessarily <clears throat> let me see if I have any bonus actions that could help him. Um, I could I could cast just like healing word on him. Try and see if I can <clears throat> wake him back up. Okay. All right. So you go through your incantation, your prayer to Moradin, and you release your magical healing energy into him, and it's. It's kind of like, you know, clear, right? And he, um, he, he, he kind of moves around a little bit, but he remains uh, unconscious as if under. That absolutely would bring consciousness back to a normal person. So mm -hmm. there's something about his state that is not, okay. um, not natural. Okay. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I guess at that point, I would just kind of. All right. At that point. Tight. Yeah, so at that point, you notice that the mists swirl around you, the gray mists of the ether begin to swirl a little bit, and um, some someone is approaching. It is a dwarf. 
you can tell by his stature, his width, or whatever, and he's coming out of the ether. And as he comes in, he is um, also not solid, even here in the border ethereal. He wears um, full dwarven armor and bears the symbol of um, uh, Moradin as well. Ah. So I know technically I like I ended my turn, but I, mm -hmm. I guess b before that, would I still be able to just try and have a conversation with them, or you, you you can you can have a very brief, like very short six second conversation. What do you want to say? Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> hmm. He Who says. So all, all you're going to get from him in this six seconds is. I lad, I'm Ogre Nine Beards. Ogre Nine Beard. Okay. okay. That's all I'll get. Okay. That's all you get now. Give okay. you a chance to talk to him a little bit more in a minute. All right. So what are you going to um you going to do now, Zamora? Um uh, well I'm going to uh, such a place for any kind of treasure. Naturally. Um, it, what you find is there's absolutely nothing. This place is completely barren. There are some gems that are kind of baked into the base of this um, beacon in the middle, uh, but they appear to be uh, more, like, not necessarily gems of value but more like colored crystals that have been magically imbued to run the beacon so probably i mean you catch your eye you go over there and look and it appears to be that there's really nothing there of value you could probably pry it out and maybe pawn it off to some ignorant merchant but um the gems themselves don't appear to be of any a mundane value all right well, um, let's see. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to move on over to uh, see what's in the uh, next room. See what's okay, well, this will be your action. You're looking for treasure. You kind of examined the crystals around the base of this dark beacon. So that can be your turn. Ozis, what are you going to do? <clears throat> You're back in the material plane. You've got a creature attacking you. If spirit guardians flying around, what are you going to do? And he's in the material plane. Mm -hmm. He just took a took a shot at you. You used your shield, right? Is that what you did? I believe. Yeah. Oh no, he missed when he was attacking you. He yeah. didn't have the shield. I don't. Yeah. And Zith is not in the material plane. Nope. Correct. They're in the border ethereal. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Let me select this guy. And let me, um, if I do inflict wounds, it'll, is that in concentration? No. Yeah. Yep. Let me hit him with inflict wounds. Twenty-two. Let's get him out of the way. At that hits, right? Yeah, absolutely. You bet. Seventeen. Seventeen. Good grief. On the edge of. Ah. I'm not really sure why she didn't go to jail for that song, but okay. All right. <clears throat> so it is now its turn. Uh, I think when you're done, no, Zith gets to go. So is there anything else you're going to do after inflicting wounds? No. no. Okay. All right, Zith. Hmm. It's all confusing. 
run away. <laughs> uh, I like to go like right here. Seeing Ezra had gone up, and I would yell up for him. Hey, do you need any help? What do you see? I don't know if you could hear hear me up there. Yep, no answer yet. Um, you 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 think you might hear some voices? At least Ezra's talking. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Okay. It's just it's all in dwarven. And I don't see them going up the stairs, right? I just see little blobs, like little ethereal ghosts, running around. Correct. Uh, what? Uh, when well, zip, I don't see Zith. No, you don't see Zith. No, they're, I, they're about impossible to see. Okay. Shoot. All right, so uh, I'm over here. I'm listening up there. Mm -hmm. uh, I yelled up to see if there's any news, and I'm going to hold my action for uh, right. for uh, Firebolt if I see anything bad. Okay. All right. Um... All right, we get another um, flurry mm -hmm. of claws. You also coming take your some way, damage. Sir. Oh yeah, roll, roll it, roll it. Let me make a save. Let no, I don't think it's a save. Like for us, it's just a hit, I think. No, I have to make a wisdom saving throw yeah. for half damage. The DC sixteen. Oh. In it. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So roll your damage. Seven. All right, that's enough for it to hurt you. So it's going to make its flurry. And um, da, 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 da. here comes six attacks. So one. Uh, so do I, my shield? I'll let you know. Let me just roll oh. them real quick. It'd be nice when they get that finally figured out. It was just working there for a while, remember? Yep. Yeah. No, it was working really well. Uh, so right now I'm just taking care of all the attack rolls, and then we can resolve them all real quick. That way I, I have a quick count of how many attacks I've done. So far there's no rhyme one, or reason. One, two, three, four, five, one more. All right. All right, the first attack is going to hit you. What do you do? Well, definitely use my shield. All right, so if you cast shield as your reaction, right. uh, it hits you anyway, gets right through your shield. So here comes oh, wow. the damage cool. for that. <laughs> That's 16, 16 points of damage. Oh, right. And what's your AC with your shield? 25. All right, the rest of them all miss as it just just constantly attacking all over everywhere, but your shield is blocking most of it. It's but like spark. Um, yeah, yeah, sparks are flying every little magical sparks are flying up all over the place. The rest of them uh, miss you. Okay. All right, and with that, it then disappears. Again, and there's no rhymer. Oh, there's they're on top of those things. They're on top of those little those greats. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, those are cages, by the way. So Right. Yeah, cage and um, the crates. Yeah. Alright. Um, and so with that, we move on to the next. Can I ask, what are you going to do? Question: Can I, would it be possible for me to to kind of do what they're doing, or at least partially? Do I, do I feel like I could like stick my head to the floor? Is what I'm asking. <clears throat> yes, it's it's solid. Uh, like the walls are not um, particularly solid, but it is the, a gray mist. So it's. Um, it's, it's not, it's hard to tell what it is that um, is beyond. 
so it's possible maybe you might begin falling through the ether. I'm going to move five feet over here first. Okay. Yeah, in front of those cages. No, and, well, no, in front of my friend, friend Zamara. And then I'm going to get on my hands and knees and stick my head to, to the floor. I'm going to try to hold very tightly onto the ground. Yeah. All right, you can kind of do that. So yeah, you can kind of see down into the next floor down. They're thick. It's thick stone floor. So, um, but it, it if you choose to make it not solid for you, it seems like that that kind of works. Do I see the scars spawn? No. I'll stand back up. Okay. And I'll. I'll what? I get into a battle stance, ready in action. But I think that that's not on the next floor. Where'd it go? I thought it was going to the floor. And that's the end of my turn. I'm ready in action to attack the star spawn if it shows up. All right, Ezra. So this other dwarf is at the edge of the um the gray mist mm -hmm. and then you see um a woman step out of the mist again ghostly a ghostly form she is dressed in um probably shiny chain mail she is a dark-skinned woman with dark curly hair would i recognize either of these people or did um, the uh, one guy go away? No, the dwarf is still there. They're both still there. Okay. Yeah, both of them are there. Um, so maybe have you been? Um, uh, all right. So roll, um, roll an intelligence check to kind of jog your memory. Mm -hmm. Intelligence or wisdom? In intelligence. I don't think you recognize either of these. I don't think you were, you joined up at the cave, so you didn't actually see. So these guys had an encounter with someone. They saw they saw one of these people, but you weren't with them at the time. Okay. Um, and they say, uh, so the woman, she steps out and she says, ah, you are a Cleric of Morden, that's odd. But I have been watching you. You are an honor to his um, religion. Thank you very much. Uh, what are you guys doing here? Uh, she says, I am Augusta Cruel. Algri and I are two of the members of the Swords of Leylon, or we were. What happened to you guys? And the next round, Zamara, what are you going to do? All right. Um, I guess. The camera cuts back away from the, the dwarf in the tower. Go ahead. All right. Well, she'll, uh, she's like, well, I wonder what that dwarf, uh, what that, what that dwarf got up to. Uh, uh, she'll head on over in the same direction that we went, and she will use a bonus action to dash to make sure to pass. All right. Um, I don't think you'll need to do that. You can zip right past uh, Zith and um, head on up the stairs. And as you come up the stairs, you see um, that your dwarf friend is not alone. There is an unconscious um, Galio Libro on the ground. And there are also two other ghostly forms that he is having a conversation with. A dwarf and a, um, a, a dark skinned, curly, black, curly haired woman in chain mail. The dwarf is also in like plate armor, kind of heavy armor. Got 
Okay. Back to the relevant action in the tower. Ozus, you are still faced with some kind of lurking danger. Your enemy vanished into the darkness and seems to, you can, you can sense that he's lurking around you. He's waiting to make an attack. What do you do? Which like, way? Like the hair on the back of your tiefling neck is sticking up. What are you gonna do? I, I'm definitely gonna move. You know, let's move right here. Move right there. And I'll cover three of the cages. And. Ooh. Ooh, sucks for you. I'm just going to hold right there and wait. Yep. Oh, you right. are, huh? All right, yes. Zeth, you're up. Uh, Zith would have heard uh, some of this stuff going on upstairs. Some of uh, it, yeah. I it's assume. hard to make out. Yep. It's up there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll I'll take my chances. Um, I will go up the stairs. Okay. All right. So you can come in behind the other two. Just gonna put you kind of there. Put you right here. I don't know if that'll. Can you still see? No, you can't see. You're in the middle of the wall, so yeah. Yeah. Hold on a second. So, for the sake of space, I'm going to move a couple of you around a little bit. The second I saw Galio, I would probably rush towards him. He's laying on the ground. What, yeah, to see what he's shape unconscious. he's in. He's yep. unconscious. Yep. Um, I would be looking for any. I would see the. I would have seen the Swords of Leilon, right? From the picture. From. The picture um, in Aubrey's shop. Yes. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you recognize both of them. Those are the two yeah. faces on that triptych that you can see. Yeah. Uh, that, that The other one is scratched out, remember? Um, yeah. So, yeah, Ogre Nine Beards and Augusta Cruel. I wouldn't know their names, right? I would just have recognized them as the sort of I think I think that Aubrey may have told you. Oh, okay. Did you guys ask okay. questions about that we earlier did on questions. and he told you? Yep. Mm -hmm. Um so I'd 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 run in and um I would go over to Galio and um as I'm running towards him or as I'm the sort of approaching him to see what shape he's he's in, and if there's anything I can glean from him, I would catch their eye. He's right next uh, to this serpent pillar. It's a small yep. pillar that's got a big head of a serpent, like the coils of the serpent make the pillar, and the yep. head is open, and inside is a really big gem. Juicy I mean, gem. you're looking at it, it's probably worth like $25,000, I mean, or gold pieces. Yep. You, it's It looks like, the Pink Panther. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a legendary sized gem. Yep. So as I'm going towards him, I would I I, I, I hope I would clock and make the connection of those two, and I would I don't know if I would have remembered their names, but I would address I would address them. What? How could you be here? You are, in fact, the Swords of Leyland, aren't aren't you? Aye, we are, lad, and we've been trying to fulfill our duties to protect this blasted thing. Here, how long have you been here in the Ethereal Plane? I longer than a hundred years. What are you fighting off here? Are the are the are the threats here worse than? 
than in Leylon itself. I'll just roll 3d8. <laughs> Why am I rolling? Uh, so I can't see him. Inventory. Um. Really? I just figured something out. Plus one fifteen. Okay. All right. So you did twelve points. Yep. All right, he appears and gets attacked immediately by these things because um, you can see him. And he, so he comes out of the shadows to attack you. Again. Oh, yeah. And, yep, he is going to do a flurry of attack. He recharged that just fine. So while he is being mauled by your spirits, he is going to take six attacks on you. Okay, here we go again. You still have... No, you lost your shield the last time, so you'll have to cast it again if you're going to do it. How many charges are left in your staff? I should be f five. What? Did, uh, hang on a second. Let me update it. It doesn't let you override. After this should be five. So after it's done, I'll hit it five times. I mean, two more times. Let me, in fact, while you're doing that, let me do that. Okay. Okay, that's right. Scrolling, scrolling, scroll. Where did it go? Oh, you did it. Yeah. I... All right. So okay. it attacks you. Um, okay. The first one's a miss. The second one hits you. You are going to cast your shield. It hits you anyway. Okay. It's going to do... 13 points of damage. Okay. And then um, it misses, misses, and then hits again. Can these things be blinded? You've already used your reaction. No, no, no. I'm just for future. Uh, right. Oh, I don't know. It's, they, they seem to have vision. They seem to have sight. Okay. So it's going to hit you two more times with your shield up still. That's okay. 19 points of damage. And then uh, last one. You said first one was 15. Yeah, so you're going to take 13, 19, and 12. 13, 19, and 12. All right. And then that's going to end its turn. And Kanaeus. I can still see see where the thing is, right? No. They're in the material plane. They're almost impossible for you to see. I thought, you know, the material plane was just ghostly. Even Yeah, translucent. So more like, like I said, like just only the super solid, like the living, they're very difficult to see, which is why it can shift back and forth and kind of dis disappear because it just hides in the ether back and forth and hides in the shadows and the darkness and um, it's difficult to see um, but Ozus as well very ghostly very hard to see Simon I have a problem I want to help Ozus mm -hmm. but the, you can both... go ring the bell if you if you go ring that bell yeah. that, that'll, that'll, blood that'll blood. do it I'm, I'm just saying if you ring the bell you know that If I did it, I couldn't help Ozus. That'd be out of movement. Hmm. Oh, no, Sad. don't care. 
So I think the best thing I'm going to do is I'll set yep. right here. And so that way if it shifts and I'm going to ready an attack so if it shifts in front into my into the ethereal plane I can attack it. Okay. Alright. Now I'm sorry. I lost more right. than that, so I'm going to have to con save next roll. Oh, yeah, you have to actually do con save uh, three times. You got hit three times. Yeah, but it wasn't over 50%. No, no, it doesn't matter. You just have, you, you got you took damage, so you have to make a, a concentration check. Okay. Yeah, forgot about that. Sorry. Should have done that last turn, too, when it hit you once. Constitution or? Yeah, Const Constitution, Constitution saving throw. And it's pretty close to like DC 10 plus the amount of damage you took. So there's nine. Yeah, that fails. Yeah. I think it's DC 10 to begin with. So there's three. Another one. Yeah, perfect. All right. So you, your um, spell ends. Okay. How do you take it off? Mm -hmm. Trying to. Ooh, I can't. It's not there. Did I, did I know the blender is gone? Nope. Okay, then I'm just still doing what I'm doing. But it gave me yep. access to it last time, so. All right, so Ezra, up in the tower, um, you have all of these uh, people joining you. It's getting a little cramped up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that bad, but yeah, there's all, the, all of you in this, um, you know, 15 foot around area all right i don't so, necessarily remember my last uh conversation point with them i think i asked like what they're doing here kind of thing yeah he said something about um trying to protect that thing that okay. i mean use some derogatory if i recall yeah so i guess at this point like do you guys know um how we can help uh the wizard here He'll probably recover on his own in about an hour. But okay. he fell he he fell the same way Thalavar did back when Lelon fell and was ruined what hundred and twenty years ago. Blasted fool. Okay. This um, idiot this idiot obviously was after the same thing. Which was what? And the woman says, the ruin stone. Can you tell me dun, more dun, about dun. this stone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dun, exactly. Dun, dun, dun. Um, she says, that gem there is called the ruin stone. It is a very evil artifact. Very powerful. And this is what happens to those who meddle with the Ruin Stone. Leave it here, lest the people of Lelon suffer its wrath once more. Do you know what would happen if we were to destroy it? There is only one way to destroy it. Samara, what are you going to do? <laughs> All right. Um, she's just going to... Does she recognize at all the people that the dwarf is speaking to? Nope. Not at all. Alright. Well, she's going to saunter on up and just say... I mean, if you want to try to make a history check, may maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm trained in that, but I suppose it's always worth a shot. Well, that was... Uh, like pretty good get. pretty yeah. good so you've heard um some stories since you've been on the sword coast about um the destruction of Leylon and um some bit of the history of the swords of Leylon which were a group of heroes that um, fought and protected Leylon from um creatures from other planes of existence that appeared and started to destroy the town but they fell during that battle. Cool. 
Greetings here on Leyland. Um, Demara Caleb. Hello, me star. She'll just introduce herself and saunter on up. <laughs> they kind of acknowledge you. Okay. Ozis, ready to die this round? Mm. Kill this thing, Ozis. Inflict wounds. Inflicting of the wounds. 21. That hits. Did you see that little skull that came up? Nice. 17. All right. How do you want to do this? What does it look like when you inflict your 17 points of damage and kill it? I just, I just you know, he just like, I've had enough of you. All right. Um... No bonus action, correct? Uh, you can have a bonus action. What do you want to do? You can I have movement and a bonus action. You just reached out and Touched withered him. it. You withered it right in front of you, and it just kind of crumbled and vanished into kind of this dusty mist. Um. Ooh, can I drink a potion? Sure. Oh, yep. right. I'm going to drink a healing. All right. All right. So um, we are now out of combat. There are no more threats. I'm going to hit the end combat here. Oh. And that brings us back to, um, to you guys. So. Um, yes. Back up in the, in the tower. Um, we've got three of you, five up there, and the other two are going to be joining you soon. So um, now open conversation. Go ahead. Okay. Well, am I still in the inferior plane? You're in the physical. Material. So you're in the material plane. You can go I'm ring a... the bell if you want. Ugh. I'm a... I will head by the door and wait for until August rings the bell. So I can just tell him, hey, we're heading upstairs. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have a question before we, we split. I run over here, ring the bell. Can I see him or he's gone? I'm by the door waiting for you. Yeah, he's what? over there by the door. Which door? This door over here? Okay. Oh, Hold I can't. Okay. Um, are these creatures real? Can we still see them? No, they, they kind of disappear uh, when they die. They kind of fade and crumble and kind of vanish away in kind of this yeah. um, miasma. Because uh, I was hoping maybe if we put them back in their cages, because I noticed there was an equal number of them in the cages. Okay. I'm going to run over to Kanaeus. <clears throat> Come on. Let's see if the, the others have killed Galio. Uh, okay. <clears throat> all right. So you two all join them up, up there. What are you two talking about up there while you're while they come up the stairs? How the burned bacon. No. Not that, that you was... two. Them. Those are already up there. While you're huffing your way up the <laughs> stairs, you're limping a little bit. You've been wounded so much. Yeah, I, I, I've been knocked around. Yeah. So. I would ask them to finish their thought on, um, one, how to destroy the runestone, and two, is there any way to close this gate and get and get you guys back to the physical plane? There's got. I mean, these guys can come back. No, no, we've long passed. We're only staying here to try to keep this ruined stone out of evil hands. Is we've this what opens sensed... the gate? No, no, it's far worse. Far worse. We've sensed that evil powers have recently learned of the stone and are conspiring to claim it. It must not fall into evil hands. I, if it does, then uh, all are finished. That that wicked artifact is so deadly and dangerous. What can we do to destroy it? 
There is only one way to rid all existence of this wicked thing. But I, I don't think you're up to the task. Speak the words, dwarf. You must take it to the depths of Mount Doom and cast it in. No. <laughs> you... <laughs> no. No, it's, it's worse than that. He says, nah, it would mean the very end. <clears throat> the very non-existence of at least one of you. That's negotiable, but what is it? <clears throat> Stop speaking riddles. We don't have time. The ruin stone? What is it? No, what? How? How? How do we destroy it? The only way that this ruin stone can be destroyed is for someone to bind their soul to it. Mm. And then the first time it is used after that, it will be destroyed. But so also will be the bound soul. But more than that, the ruined stone will erase it from existence. It will be as if you never existed. Okay. Is there is there any other way to defend it? Is that what you've been doing here for all I'm, of these years? I suppose you you arrived late when I said there's only one way. No, no. <laughs> and then I explained it. to you what the way defend was. Defend it. Defend it, not destroy it. Defend it. Oh, there's a sacrifice. It's best left here. This is the safest place for it to be. It's and is the enough. only way is the only way to get here through this ethereal spire. Yes, that I know of. But it's possible, perhaps, for it to for it someone to get here elsewhere. But you know, the ethereal plane is um, very difficult to navigate. Mm. Balavar himself didn't even know that this is where he had uh, brought himself. So when he learned about what it was and then tried to take the ruined stone for himself. He, of course, failed to, um, f failed to do what it takes to have this trap not go off. And that is what released all of the monsters back then oh, to God. ravage the whole town, just like this idiot did here. I thought the word can, can me and Ozzy show up? Yeah. No. Yeah. I would like what? to take a look what? around. Who are you calling an idiot? Um, Galio on the ground. Okay. I would like to take a look around, not understand what's going on, and kick Galio in the in the gut. Okay. So, um. Yeah, Galio's laying there. You kick him. Oh, okay, how much damage do you intend to do to him? Uh, Non-lethal, but let's see. Uh, let me see. What, what is my uh, unarmed strike? I can do five damage. Okay. Five non-lethal right. damage. Okay, so you, do, you, you don't make him any I'm more sorry. unconscious. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were we talking about? Um, why are the swords of Leilong here? Yeah, so you recognize, um, I think it was you, Kadeus, who saw her at the base of the tower, you know, when you first looked up there and she was looking down at you, and then when you got up there, she was gone. You recognize yeah, think, her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I saw her the second time. The first time was our, our former paladin. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, are we dead? I'm sorry, I... I'm late to the conversation, apparently. Yeah, but the, it's going around. I kick Galio again. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this idiot did something stupid, and now we're all dead, about to die. He tried to grab the ruin stone. Yeah, it sounds like something an idiot would do. I mean, the thing is clearly named the ruin stone. But you have to understand that when you use the ruin stone, it brings ruin. No, yes, 
you can erase <laughs> someone from existence permanently. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Oh, do they, do they have to be a willing participant? No. Ooh. I am going to immediately kick Galio, in the, uh, kick Galio again. This oh, evil God. artifact allows you to repeat any action you wish. And then the consequence of doing that is that one of your allies is erased from existence. Obviously a very evil artifact. But there's a chance that it won't be one of your allies. There's a chance it will erase someone randomly. So, like yeah. one of your enemies, it will erase one of your enemies randomly. So not only can you make it completely repeat something that happened in the past, you know, few minutes or hour or so, you can repeat that and um, succeed at it. So, for example, a death blow. You can use the Ruin Stone to undo that and repeat it. Now knowing it's coming, you can stop it from happening, but so doing causes someone else to be erased from existence. They would only, I suppose, their only chance to ever be restored would be through a wish spell. Got it. So erase from existence means erase from existence. That's exactly right. Not just killed. Okay. Imagine if this fell into the hands of Ularan Mortis or Feralai Stormsworn. Would she have any qualms about erasing one of her minions no. to be able to undo something you've done? Not at all. No, I mean, as much as I hate the bitch, I would not wish to erase anyone from existence. Yeah, that's not cool. So, and I'm assuming the others kind of they just they repeat the same thing if I ask them, we, how do we destroy it? Is, uh... If one of you is willing to bind your soul to it, the next time it is used, it will be destroyed. And oh. so will you. Oh, oh, fuck. Uh, is there any one of you brave enough to do that? So it's a one-shot deal? That is the only way to destroy it. Unless you can find some way to, gr to get a wishes. We can yeah. hold a lot for you now. <laughs> It's not like an experience you won't forget. It's not a like bound a soul, but a bound soul will suffer no ill effects until the ruin stone is used. And at that moment, they will vanish and never have existed. Well, I'm just curious. Um, is it possible to banish, to, to do that to a god? Or is it this only mortal kind of thing? What? Hmm? Uh, could you cause a, a god to... to uh, could you erase a god from existence? Well, the intentional use of the Ruin Stone is to repeat something that you need to repeat. So, for example, a fatal blow. A, you know, being caught by surprise. Etc. Easily just use the Ruin Stone and play that back again, and you choose a different outcome. The cost of activating the artifact to do that is to erase one of your allies from existence. But sometimes the Ruin Stone will erase an enemy as well. It seems to be random. Interesting. So, for example, should, say, Ularan Mortis or Ebon Death come into possession of the Ruin Stone yeah, and they use it to repeat something that they don't want to go the way it went, and if it doesn't 
erase one of their allies, it might actually erase one of you anyway. Not that I have any intention of doing this. No, I'm sorry. I just can't bring myself to risk my soul. How hard is it to bind your soul to this thing? It can be done right now. Okay. It takes a ritual. Oh. Has, that, has anybody... Nobody's done this in the past, obviously, because it's not been destroyed. Are there... Are there others of these that you know of? This is the only one. And if after a time it has not been used, is it possible to unbind your soul? Recock the gun, so so to speak. I don't think so. But if your intent is to have it destroyed, then you could certainly bind your soul to it. And then doesn't matter if it falls into evil hands. Would Does anything happen when it gets destroyed? Like, is there an explosion? Is, is the holder of the stone at that current time damaged in any no. way? No. And it's only good for one, one do-over, one do a single one. Over and over again, yeah. Over the and over again. Can redo. Stone, it's, yeah. You can redo any action. Oh, yeah. And then any other action. And then any other action. And then any and other the, action. And how, how uh, obviously, Thalavar... Have enough allies to fuel it, and you're good. <laughs> obviously, Thalavar couldn't take it. He, You're saying he died trying to? Yes. And and what... what, uh, what so clearly, it also put um, Galio to sleep. What what are its defenses? How could somebody get it in the first place to even to even use it? Well, if they had known it was trapped, that can be foiled. Like you could take it yourself if you really intended. Well, uh, and the well, binding, the, really the, the, the ritual can happen at, at any time in any place, yes? There's no, nothing special about this place um, that a, bind, a binding could potentially happen, right? It's in a very difficult place to find, for starters. Thalavar spent his life looking for it, apparently. Mm -hmm. And it was right in the tower. Well, but he kept tuning the tower to different locations until he found it. Mm, got it. Well, gentlemen, I take I mean, it there's no volunteers. Yeah, I mean, Zith, I think this is something you'd be into. I mean, Zith is thinking about it. Uh, a lot, <laughs> but... It's like... No, 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 no! I'm not, I'm not touching it. Zith has a good 800 years left on his life, unlike you mortals. So he has more to, he has more to, to lose. But um, his hatred of Ularan is deep. Um, not sure he's going to do it right now. Uh, but I do think we have to keep an eye on this. And 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 excuse me one more time. Um, your Currently, you are you are its guardian. You are protecting it. Yes, is that your main job at this point? Your main mission. If we were alive, we would have bound our soul to it. A little bit of a guilt trip. I like I like it. This is all we can do. We gave our lives slaying the monsters that Thalavar released, foolishly trying to obtain this for his own dark purposes, whatever they were. And who knows what this fool was up to, but clearly it got the best of him. And but, um, he sought the ruined stone for himself. 
what are the chances that Ularan would even know about this? I mean, maybe Evan Death might know. I mean, he's old enough, I guess. Would be, be was I don't, he's probably old enough to be around when you guys were, but we can that, sense the, the that rumor or is I mean, the rune stone is no longer hidden. So the gods know of it, the and so their minions would know of it. Yeah, but who wants to take that chance? Because it's not it's yeah. not guaranteed to be on your side. It was tucked away in the corner of the ether here in but this cool. border, in this border of the ethereal plane, and now Galio has made its presence known, and we sense great mm. evil now is also aware, and they I are coming to get it. I will kick Galio again. Fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you said one thing that that it, that it has struck me. You would have bound your soul to it if you could, if you could have. Had we known. Instead, we gave our lives just trying to prevent the end of Leilan, the town we struggled so hard to protect for so long. I don't Even... know if it's an insight check or whatever, but like, can can Zith do a little bit of a bullshit check? Sure. Yeah. Before he does something really dumb. Okay. Uh, uh, where are you? Would you take uh, <laughs> religion? Arcana. How's Arcana? Uh, are you doing insight? What are you trying to yeah, do? Yeah, I, I want to see if they're bull if they're if there's any bullshit to what they're saying. Okay, that's, uh, that's an insight check. Just okay. scroll insight. Yep, you're checking for if they're lying, if they're being deceptive. Nope. Very obviously, this is exactly the truth. They seem. Perhaps among the most sincere ghosts you have ever met. Which then also okay. includes all of the real people you've ever met. Zith, Zith is going to look at everyone else real, real quick. Like, <clears throat> does anybody seem like they're thinking about doing this insane thing? No. <laughs> and Aes feels ashamed. Like, no. he but he's also not willing to risk his eternity over this. I mean, you'd be, you'd risk, you would risk it either way, but which is why he feels ashamed, but he's not willing to. Thinking through how much Zip hates Ulran Moritus and knowing what that cursed dra dragon and him could do to this coast. He will step forward, forward to the, the dwarf, and uh, he will tell him to do the thing. And Ace will grab Zith's arm. Zith, are you sure? I mean, if you do this, no resurrection, no anything. I mean, once next time you 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 die, that's it. I don't that's plan on dying. Where I'm good, we can we can bind it. We can bind it and potentially take it. I don't know about that part, but at least if if these two great swords of Leylon would have done this without question during their lifetimes, the least this son of a bunch of thieves and poisoners could do is to do it himself. And he would walk towards the dwarf and tell him to get on with this business. Is this a close on experience? Like what's happening right, right, right now? Ooh, you switch the epic combat. What's happening? I'm just uh, trying to do something that sounds epic. There we go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. <clears throat> the two swords of Leylon draw their weapons. Not not offensively at you. Yeah, but yeah. More yeah. like more like the way royalty might dub a knight. 
They both hold their weapons up in the air and they begin to chant a particular ritual in an ancient, ancient tongue. This is um, a language that sounds a little bit like the ancient language that you heard and were familiar with from your visions. Oh yeah, of the song, sure. Yeah, from a long time ago. Not even, but this is a, a, um, a netherese spell. You yeah. have learned something. You've actually, um, they're just uh, legendary um, and mythical. Mythical is probably a better word than legendary because it was so long ago as to hardly even have been real. But you've heard of magic more powerful than wish spells. That's like the most powerful thing you, you could do today. But yeah. the netherese were such masters of magic that they would lift entire cities into the sky and fly them through the air as their own personal, you know, where their castle was or whatever, the whole city, they would just take it wherever they wanted to. They could destroy things. There's even these um, ancient scrolls called the Netherese scrolls that are also as legendary as this ruin stone seems to be. Um, where they have some of the old magic taught in them. So liches and, you know, those who want to live forever. Some of what they, some of those guys are looking for even scroll fragments where they can begin to learn more of some of this ancient magic. And it may take them m more than a thousand lifetimes to discover and master these kinds of spells. So these two have learned something of this magic. And as they chant, um, the gem begins to glow brighter and brighter. And um, then it kind of envelops you in the glow between them holding their weapons up in the air. And as they are doing their chant, it creates this little symbiotic flow between you and the gem and after doing this for what seems to you like forever um they finally have some final um end to their chant and um it it ends the room goes back to its normal glow and you are bound to the ruin stone all of us no. no, no, just just it. it. <laughs> oh, this is, um, has, the, has 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 the rune stone moved? Is it still in the it's the dragon it's, head thing? Yeah, it's right there. And so, in in so doing, um, the the woman Augusta, she looks at you and she puts her hand on your shoulder. You can't feel it; it's ghostly. Yeah. Um, and she says. We will stay here and guard it. I advise you not take it with you. For should it fall into the wrong hands, that would be your end. But also, if you are slain before the ruin stone is used, the binding is broken. Got it. Uh, are you sure that this is the safest place? Uh, would it not be safer? Uh, is there any place in the material plane that it could no. be safer than here? Absolutely not. And certainly no place you're able to go. Okay. I turn around, I just tell the guys, dudes, I cannot die. <laughs> so if you see me going down, you you know what to do. The, I I will and I will do my best not to not to be the uh risk taking asshole that I can sometimes be. There's a lot on the line here. And yeah, I think 
let's I would really be honest here. It's probably yep. best that I was not the one who took it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I would I would thank them profusely for their service to date and their service in, in the future. And ask them how, how how long is it possible that they can guard this? Is it eternity? Like until how does this it is work? taken. We will stay here forever. Until it is taken. Wow. Wow. How big is it? Hmm. You said it's like Pink big. Panther size. He said it's like Pink Panther it's size. Huge. It's a huge gem. Palm size. Just giant. It's huge. Maybe huge. we'll get a collar for it and put it on Sparky. <clears throat> yeah, the guy who dies the most. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> <clears throat> Ozis, we're yeah. leaving it in here until further notice. Yeah, okay. Although we All should right. probably... Li- but oh, yeah, well, wait a second. Is this? Uh, it's uh, everyone's like now that we have it. Now we've exposed it and synced it up to someone. Is it going to attract things from all all over the universe? Well, Your silence. What's oh, it's that? It's going to attract creatures and demons, and everyone's going to want this. Yeah, I mean, they said that Galileo, whatever he was, his dickering has alerted um, many more people throughout the realms to it, its existence. Wow, this is like uh, heavy stuff here. And I'm not talking about gravity either. <laughs> I have no doubt well, that more star spawn will also defend it. Inadvertently. Good. There'll be a mean, threat between. Um, wait, 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 wait. You mean star? I mean the one, the things that we just defeated. Yeah, they're not guardians of it, but they okay. they inhabit the area, making it very dangerous for it to come here. It's one of the reasons it was hidden here in the first place. I'm sure. This is not this is not your magic shop kind of gem. This is. Serious business. Um, is the is what do we do about this portal, and what do we do with him? And I point at mm. Dalio. No, take him back. How do we make sure, make sure this doesn't happen again? Come. Yeah, how do we do that? Should we should we oh. destroy that portal, <laughs> the the thing, the Probably. beacon? What did you say, Jim? The beacon? Yes. You could try, sure. That might be one way, but that's just, that's actually one of the things that um, stops the, these creatures, that paralyzes them. It's meant to be a trap, a, um, oh. a protection, like, Galia was counting on it and counting on you to draw them away from the spire so that he could go up there and uh, up here and take the gem himself. Uh, he was using you as decoys. Got it. Yep. I what do you think we should do? What do you think we should do with him so that he doesn't keep trying to do this? I mean, he is. My magic is be- just. Yeah. Well, first of all, I throw the unconscious Galio over my shoulder. First, we're going to put him in a jail cell. Then when he wakes up, we're going to have a long chat about responsibility and doing his effing job. Which is not dicking around with magic with magic items that are clearly named bad things. <laughs> and actually defending the effing town. Like he was hired to. Then I'm going to keep kicking him. Probably. <laughs> and maybe throw some punches too. Because that means to him, one of my best friends has his soul in danger. And then we're going to make hey. him do his effing job. Because he is a powerful wizard. 
He is a powerful wizard. Don't forget that, man. I don't fucking care. He's going to do his job. He's going to place a bunch of sigils and wards all over this place. We're going to make this room a death trap for anyone who enters. I like everything you're saying. We're going to, we are going to find it and I am making grant wishes because this thing is, if anything happens, I want a way to bring you back. Yeah. I mean, I mean, sure. not like we know, I mean, I can think of a couple items off my head. Let's see, maybe a genie's bottle, maybe a deck of many things, a wish, a ring of wishes. We gotta find one of those things. Okay, so as the um, well, that was a harrowing credits Christ. begin to roll for this quest, you've you've completed the quest of Thalafar's Beacon. When Galio awakens about an hour later, he absolutely bed. admits in shame to his deception, and he swears to never seek the ruined stone again. He gives a wizard's oath. And then he resigns from his post at once and asks to return to Neverwinter to face his order. No, I will tell him, you have an effing job to do. And what do you think yeah. I can do? I don't know. Wards. Golems. I, I don't have any of those. The golems are gone. I don't do wards. I can, I can cast. I can't even do cone of cold. I can cast. Um, what do you mean you can't do cone, cone of cold? Is. Legend lore. I I do yeah. legend lore instead. Nobody cares about legend lore. What do you mean you? That's can't what cast I can do. Cone of cold. <laughs> can't even do cone of cold. I can do legend lore. I. Mr. I use D4. that spell all the time to try to research the nature of the ruin stone, and I was beguiled by its power. I will not be fooled again. I well, I cannot. How I how many people uh, know about your research? Then? No one. I yeah. what I told my order was that I was going to bring them an artifact of great power. I didn't tell them what it was. Well, I told them of the beacon. Now, all these ghosts just here once Zith goes through this ceremony, correct? The ghosts what? They disappear? They, they stay in the spire. They say that they will remain in the spire to guard the ruined stone. Or if we can ask them questions about the ruined stone. Sure, what do you want to know? Who if they know it, they'll they'll give you the knowledge. They don't who know who created it. It predates um all known history that they could find, including in their own in their own current state, being able to talk to others. Can it be destroyed now that it's been linked up, synced up to Sith? Yep, all you have to do is use it. Oh, that's the only way it can be destroyed? That's the only way it can be destroyed, is if it's used now. This should get interesting. How good are you at forging documents? I asked Galio. <laughs> Not at all. I'm great at it, by the way. Could you teach Zith the code before you leave? Oh, that would be helpful. Teach him the what? The code of these books. All yeah. these books. Oh, the yeah. Many of them have been um, packed up and sent off um, to Galio's um, private residence. Um, but he said he would have them all destroyed if you, if you wish. But uh, otherwise, Thalavar's work was all about binding and acquiring the Ruin Stone. And by the time he did, he unleashed such destruction on Leylon and destroyed the beacon in the process um, when he tried to get the the ruin stone but he didn't write about that because that was the end so there was not much at all about that 
So I, otherwise, I he would have been Gallio would have been wise to try to foil the defenses. Instead, he fell into the same shameful trap and released the the two that he had already captured, along with the others that you had drawn away from it. He was trying to get them away, but they, they would not. He couldn't lure them down into the beacon. But mm -hmm. you guys were able to do that, and so that gave him the opportunity to go up and try to take the stone. But he wasn't able to get the stone before it was brought him under attack for that. So there, are, there are no books here that will that are either new new spells um, that you have not known clearly, or that I have not known. No, Thalavar's um, research was not coming up with new spells or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. How many books do you, do you have? Do you, you do have a couple books left here, though, right? But all sure, are, but are, are destroy can, all the ones that you're. You can have my books? spell book if you want. Does it just have legend lore? <laughs> Is there anything else? <laughs> I think he's like a fifth level mage or something like that. Let me look. Um, Galio. So what you find is, where is he? Mm. Mage. Um, he is a Rashemi human male mage. So that's a CR6 monster, right? Um, with legend lore spell prepared instead of Cone of Cold. <laughs> So great. Well, I'll take Legend more if I can get it, but there's yeah. he has no other spells in his book. Uh, Firebolt, Light, Mage Hand, Prestidigitation, Detect Magic, Mage Armor, Magic Missile, Shield, Misty Step, Suggestion, Counter Spell, Fireball. You're reading, you're reading my list. I know, I'm telling you, he's just a mage. Oh. And then instead of a fifth level spell being Cone of Cold, it's a fifth level spell, one slot, Legend lore. Well, I'll take legend lore. I'll let him keep his damn book, but I'll copy legend lore down. <laughs> okay. Do you know Ice Storm? Greater invisibility? Oh, I don't know those. I okay. could use those. Those are fourth for level sure. spells. You can learn those. Yeah, I, I could use those. Um, it's going to be expensive, but uh, I would definitely take those. Okay. So there you um, go. Galio. Well, that's amazing. Hold on. I need to take notes. Uh, greater, greater, Ice Storm. Ice Storm is awesome. Ice Storm and Legend Lore. Is that it? Legend Lore? I'll do the math afterwards. Those are the well, big three. Yep. And that describes yeah. basically the treasure that, um, that this quest does not have anything else listed for treasure except the ruins, the ruin stone. Yep. There's no reward oh. from the town, just that. Um, You're probably like a thousand gold for, for doing the job. It says Leyland's wizard Gallio has recently rebuilt the planar beacon atop his tower and is using it to trap and study creatures from across the plains. Gallio has called for your help, taming these beasts to defend the town against invasion. That was your quest. No reward posted. You guys, um, I'll take the spells. I'm happy with that. I'm sorry for the other guys. Um, it's, it's the Gulch quest that had the gold reward, and you guys didn't do um, that one. Hey, it's, my, only been started, like, it's only been, what, less than a day that we've been here? My other People question, so... Not even. Galileo, you're going to go back, but we, yeah, are still in, we are still in need of a, a you here. Um... Uh, uh, what can we, I do I've, that you can't? I have foreseen that this that we are going to be under great attack um, by potentially an army of undead led by an undead dragon. Okay, uh, I can cast magic missile. I can cast. I know that's all great. Mage hand. Is there a replacement you that we can get? I mean, clearly <laughs> you are you are not strong enough to resist the allure of. Um, of the ruin stone, but uh, I also don't love being one man down. 
even if all you can do is cast Ice Storm and Greater Invisibility. Is there a replacement from your clan? Can we get somebody else from Phandalin? I think I have brought shame um, to or my never went to my shame. order. Yeah, never well, went to. Nobody's going to argue you with that. I will have to face that. I don't know if they'll be willing to send someone else. I don't know about taking this thing. All right. So we're going to end it there. We can discuss yeah. whatever else is going to happen. And and what I know some of you are past midnight where you're at. So we're going to quit quit now. You're, you're going to post this gem, all the information, right? What do you mean? Didn't Did I just give it to you? Discord, yeah. Didn't I just give it to you? Didn't I tell you all about it? Yeah, but it'd be read it again. It changes. It's a... It changes one thing that happened in the past and destroys something, erases something from existing when it happens. Yeah. yeah. But not There's anymore. No. It is a oh, one it can and still done be used magic to that. item. As soon as they try to use it, though, yeah. it will not work and uh, Ziff will be erased from the new... You guys will have never known him. Yep. Or her. We will never I will start him. working, or... I'll start working <laughs> on a new character. I'll start working on a new character. <laughs> um, and I hope that it, it all works out. I think this is, <laughs> I mean, we're, are we still on you, YouTube? You want to shut it down? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will. All right. Say, bye. say goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. Say goodbye, bye. everybody. All right. You guys have a good night. Pretty, good pretty epic ending. Epic. So, my th thinking was that if somehow Zith dies, we should leave behind some fake notes that say to use the Ruin Stone, you got to bind your soul to it. That way, yep. whoever, whenever idiot gets this next time, that's not us. Wait, but what and happens to the? Did they talk about like isn't the rune stone is destroyed if it's used once, right? Yep. That, but but if you're killed, a new yeah someone else will have to be bound to it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's going to be your new goal in life. But assuming and that I, I can avoid that, go through the party one at a time until you can yeah. bind all of you. <laughs> so Zip is now bound to this. Yes. Yep. Yeah. But there's no like restriction on anything. It's not like I have to be near it or like I'm nope. I can act as normal until yep. one of two things happens. I yep. die or somebody uses it. Yeah. So if you retire and move to Am, then you know, someday you just suddenly vanish and never existed because somebody else found the ruin stone some other time later. Question and, uh, and used it. Let's get into death. So just going to zero hit points does not mean that I'm unbound, right? It, you mean actual death death. Yeah, yeah, you need three like, death saves. I, mm -hmm. What about resurrection? What about revivify? What about no, gen or pose? Dead. That's dead. You need to that remind yourself then. Dead. That is dead. And no one will be bound to it when you die. So when you zero hit points and three, three failed saves. So if someone steals the, the rune stone, Spare yeah, if someone Absolutely. someone steals the rune stone and figures out that they can't use it because you're bound to it, then they can come kill you, and then begin using the rune stone. Ah. So, so let's say that that you know someone does use it without knowing that, and this is erased. So we we remember him though, right? Nope. Nope. He'll be erased from existence. Yep. It's like it never happened. But wait, so I die, I go to zero hit points. I'm making death saves. Somebody does spare the dying on me. Everything's good, right? Yeah, you haven't died. Okay. Okay. Well, All that right, was unexpected. Okay. There you go. That was pretty uh, epic. Incredible. See, it just begins. The epic begins now, doesn't it? There we go. Yes, it does. So I'm seeing, yes, it so does. Yeah, definitely because... need 